in. Oh, finally stream. After so many hours. I just, I had a Discord message prepped and ready for this, for this moment. My, my wife is off to the side. She is equally surprised. I'm in. Okay, let's get past this area. I've already seen all this. I, I hardly believe in myself. I don't believe in shots. I'm in. I don't believe it. I'm legitimately, I'm shocked. Oh my goodness. You. Oh my loser. goodness. Your captain needs you. Okay, hold on. Let's, yes, your captain needs me. I'm, no, I'm the captain. Look at me. I'm the captain. Uh, let's make sure that everything is, we're streaming to all the proper platforms. We're on, we're good. Um, chat's here. Dude, I cannot believe that I'm actually in. After so many false calls. Actually absurd. Okay, hold on. Let's. I got to make sure YouTube is working because I'm pretty sure YouTube's streaming the wrong game. Oh my goodness. Actually absurd. I'm in shots. Yeah, I mean, they were great ideas. Okay, boom, new world. Um, bam, let's save that. Facebook, dude, I still, I still cannot believe that I'm actually in. Yes. Bam. Let's save that. Um. Do what? I did now because it was so close. It said she's asking why I didn't choose a different server before because there were so many false starts. Like it was like, oh, it's not that far away. If it's a 10,000, then I wouldn't have. And where is my box? I need my box. Did you take it? Okay, hold on. You I got to get through the start rat. to the. Yeah. I'm not a bilge rat. Something I don't have the box. To come so close. It's not fair. What what's happening to me? I can't die. Oh, that's the box. Not the like this. Not like this. Well, I figured it was just the uh the classic launch day blues that would happen anywhere. And I didn't have a point of reference for, you know, how bad my server was. I just thought, yeah, this is just, you know, and I want, and I really wanted one of the popular servers, like a good server. Um, oh, they just actually, they announced in a crazy turn of events that they're going to allow server migration in like two weeks from now or something. So, which is crazy. So you'll be able to migrate to any server you want. Which is very cool because of all the troubles that everyone's been having. All right, let's see. Um, take this, take this. Now, if any of you guys are curious or just jumping in right now, we've already played through the beginning of New World like twice before now. So I am familiar with some of this. By some of this, I mean this this beginning spot. But we'll see if they change anything. Burke, welcome, dude. I'm in. I'm in. I actually I changed servers. I literally, I was loading it up two hours ago. I started it, and I went from a thousand. I think right. Do we start it? Yeah, twelve hundred, all the way from twelve hundred, all the way down to zero, which happened about thirty minutes ago. Would you say? Yeah, 30, 40 minutes ago. And then once it hit zero, it said, "Oh, sorry, like there's a connection error." 
Uh, please try again. And then, so when that happened, the login servers crashed completely for all of Europe or whatever. It would seem from looking online. So anyone trying to log in couldn't log in for like 30 minutes, which naturally was right when it hit zero for me. No, it didn't save my spot. I didn't even manage to log in. It got all the way down to zero. And then as it was about to start, it, it hit me with the message, failed to join login queue. Please try again. Connection error. And the connection error, it was unlucky because everyone who had that uh, connection error who was trying to log in now couldn't log in. But anyone in the game was fine. So anyways, I just kept mashing it. At one point, it, it gave me 2,000. It said I was 2,000 people away in queue like 10 minutes ago. And then it dropped me out of the queue after like a minute. Uh, and then I've just keep... I've been mashing, you know, join server. And then it just would keep giving me error messages. And then suddenly it was like, oh yeah, there's two people ahead of you in the queue. And then it put me in. And we're in. I had already typed up a Discord message, which I just sent. Um, Dude, I can scarcely believe it. Eight hours stream. This is longer than the... I've played this game for more than most of the games in my Steam library. <laughs> for longer than most of my Steam library games. And I haven't even played it live. Oh my goodness. But we're in. I can scarcely believe it. I think we're not sleeping tonight. That seems to be the reasonable course of action. What do you think, Shots? <laughs> she says it's my problem. This is true. Yeah, no, you have to stay up too. A pairing of melee focused weapons that when combined offer solid offensive and defensive capabilities utilizing a combination of arcing swings and lunges for the offensive melee attacks and a shield to maximize defenses. All right. Whirling blade or shield rush? Let's do shield rush. I like shield rush. Um, leaping strike, reverse stab's kind of cool. But you know, I'm feeling kind of Captain American. -y. Monk ass. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited. Uh, let's see, what else is news? I was gonna. Oh yeah, they also announced that because of all the server troubles that everyone's been having, uh, they're gonna do server migrations in uh, like two weeks. For anyone who's interested, you can you know migrate your character to a different server for free. I also, uh, fun fact, I accidentally gave my character I think slightly greenish hair. It didn't look green. I thought I chose a brown, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's kind of green. But at this point, oh, they were like other stories too. Like the fact that, yeah, look at that. It's the same color as the grass. <laughs> Jeez. Why would you put green right next to brown? That's what I never understand when games do that. Like looking like old moldy head. Barkins, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> But I also, okay, fun fact. So I decided to make a new character, uh, but turns out you can't, global names are global. So if you make a character name, no one else can have that name regardless of what server they're on. So I, I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out a character name. The Captain Cloud, Captain, Captain Cloud, a Captain Cloud. Yeah, ridiculous. And finally, I did the Captain Cloud, and then I decided to do some digging because I looked it up, and they said, yes, it's very pretty also. They said that, you know, it mentioned that you could do a name change after a short while, but then people were like, yeah, well, you know, for all the streamers whose names were taken, you know, it's going to take like 90 days apparently. So I was worried about that, but I decided to bite the bullet, delete the character, because I read some stuff that seemed like names were account bound. So you could delete a character and you would still have access to that name for a little bit. You wouldn't have to wait or whatever. So I did that and it worked. So my character is Captain Cloud. I have that saved. Unfortunately, I got, I got green hair, but you know, I figure whatever. I'm wearing a helmet the whole time, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to be wearing a helmet the whole time. Oh, look at that. How'd you get over here? Hmm. It is a Captain Cloud night stream. So we're letting her hair down, so to speak. Yeah, and you watched Asmin sit in a 12K person queue for a few hours. Dude, I spent far longer than I should have. Oh yeah, I still have the stash. 
there's a fine line between uh, patience and stubbornness. And I will tell you guys when I figure that one out. But yeah, maybe you're right. I probably should have chosen a different server. Ladina says yes off in the distance. But I'm in. That's what matters. I actually, uh, when I got home, I popped in a few other Star Citizen streamers, Twitch channels, asking what channels they were in. Uh, just curious to see if there's like any running themes, and I didn't notice any. So I actually, though, fun fact, I was looking through, and I chose one of the lowest populated servers, which actually happened to be the server that uh, DBoss was in. I haven't told him that yet, though, but uh, yeah, that's cool, so I'm going to them up with that news and then also fun fun fact they said because of the craziness uh uh because of the craziness of all this stuff they're going to allow server migrations in like two weeks eight hours i'm in i'm i'm excited nay ecstatic okay here's the question what do i do do i blitz through everything right do i i think i should blitz through some of the early quest stuff um because you get like bigger backpacks things like that eight hours i only queued for like 20 minutes and i started and this guy started an hour ago six hours this morning before swapping Six hours this morning for our swapping order servers. Two hours tonight. And then getting uh it hit this here after when the queue hits zero. Ah. But none of that matters. We're in. Round rat sailor we have here, don't we? Still. I'd Nora like Lynch. Hey, was this, this, wasn't this where I started out? Extra Life had 110k viewers all day. Wait, really? On Hades? Oh. Name I guess Lynch. they were. I'm down here from the first oh, settlement. I did not know that. Maybe Just they were a little bigger than I I realized. Shit. Apparently, one of the streamers on our, our server, the server I was trying to get into, had 110,000 on that server. Um, or all day. Uh, had 110,000 viewers. And there's a server cap of 2,000. <sighs> Jeez. All right. You never watched them before. Are they American? English? Do they speak English? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Even they have 114 right now. Wherever you come from, it's lost to you. I don't know. Here, this how much do you guys care about listening to this part? Here. I've listened to this and like three times now. The beach is the right now, I just want to get in. I just want to start playing, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel like they were streaming before uh, we even started. Um, you know, it's just... I heard putting points in the Constitution is a good beginner thing. Okay. Investigate the shipwreck. And then, because respecking is free. So, I'm going to do a bunch of stone cutting. Man, there's just so much I want to do. Oof, hundred that's a lot of people though. That's cool. Stoked for them. Can't believe we're finally in, man. This took so long. There's a lot of interesting languages here. Ugh. But I'm in and I'm here, and that's okay. Looks like I'm not alone, of course. A lot of other sword and board folk. Ooh. Oh, I don't have a her I don't have anything to cut the herbs. The herbs. Jeez. 
Shield bash. It's kind of fun to be in though and to know that my progress is permanent right now. There's something. All right, you're going to bed. <laughs> um, well, have a good night, man. Thanks for at least swinging by saying howdy. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to sleep for another 30 hours or something. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll sleep at some point in time when I'm dead. Uh, I'm just, I'm stoked to be in, finally. Oof. Staying at the docket for now, trying to figure out what to do next. Doesn't seem like anyone else made it to shore. Leg is slowing me down less and less each hour, and if it keeps healing like this, I'll be walking by this evening and running by morning. Unbelievable. All right, let's kill a couple more Mariners. I don't remember at what point do I want to, like... I feel like I want to get to my first settlement before I start hoarding all the loot because I need to be actually be able to drop it off somewhere. I'm thinking Covenant. Um, in fact, I'm... I can already guarantee you it's going to be Covenant. Let's see. Oh, this is already becoming Syndicate Town. Feels a bad stream, but such is life. Don't forget to join Covenant. Smiley face. You know, just tick some people off immediately. Yeah, there are German servers. Yeah, there are. I see. That's the thing. Like, people get a little mad when you speak German or French or whatever, because there's specific German servers. Task, but, but that's right okay. Thing. It's kind of them. Your servers went live five hours ago. You might give it a crack on the weekend. Let the chaos upside. That's probably a more logical and better way of approaching it. Better wood. All right, let's speed run these early quests because I don't even have... Oh, I do have a knife now. No, I don't. I don't have a sickle. Craft a flint skinning knife and the sickle and all that good stuff. Craft. Hey, gear score. Set as my active tool. Uh, and then let's craft one of these. Well, no, give me those herbs. Don't don't even look at my herbs. These are my herbs. Yeah, you can't you can't harvest these herbs. Because you don't have the proper tools for the job, my friend. <laughs> Free hits up. See, you guys are playing checkers while I'm playing chess over here. There you go. No, no, because got an eye. He's um, boar. Yep. There you go. Just thinking about those stakes. <laughs> what else do I need? Oh, I need a pick. Any day of the week. Yep. And then I need. Okay, I got a pick, a sickle, a skinning knife, and I need an axe. And at some point in time, a fishing pole. And if I remember correctly, going far enough along the main quest line will give me access to fibers. Uh, basically, there's going to be a bunch of. Yeah, yeah. When I talk to the old man or whatnot, there's a bunch of hemp plants near him and in that area. So that's going to be easy. That would be, I guess, one of my my big uh, recommendations would be playing through the quest line. Because you get, like, all the weapons, basically. Uh, and a bunch of gear. Very quickly. Not uh, fairly, fairly quickly, I should say. As well as a bunch of locations. Um, I'm just going to put everything into health right now, as I said before, because I'm not sure which weapons I want to use. My mouth is watering just thinking about those stakes. Took a light <laughs> ration. Beats having hard tack any day of the week. Yeah, I don't know what it is, stream. For some reason, crafting is just so satisfying Nothing beats the smell of fresh meat on an open fire <sighs> you'll be wanting to visit the first light so <sighs> you'll be wanting um, to visit the first that storm was it's tradition for first oh light. see i get a bow i actually rather like the bows 
Um, something about having to craft your own materials feels good. What would I be crafting? Um, I think I've decided that I want to get into stone cutting and weapon making. So I'm going to do a bit of weapon crafting and stone cutting because stone cutting is really easy. You know, you find so many boulders and things like that that people just ignore. Uh, and once you start to level up your stone cutting, then you get ores appearing on your in our on your mini map. And just materials are super useful. Plus, you end up finding a lot of high-level materials very quickly that most people pass over because they never bothered to level up their stone cutting. Or their mining, I should say. Their mining is what I... Well, you can level up stone cutting as well, but what I mean is uh, mining, prospecting. And if you just gather all the boulders you see, no problem. The name of this server. Uh, the level allows you to... Yes. Yeah, so there's... um. I'll show you how it works. So there's trade skills, right? So these are all of the trade skills that you can get. You know, weaponsmithing, armoring. So like to level weaponsmithing, you got to make weapons. Uh, and as you level it up, you'll be making higher tier weapons. And then you'll also be able to make other things. Uh, mining is one of them. And so it's gatherable. Like iron is gatherable at level zero. But you got to be level 10 before you can gather silver. But once you hit mining level 25, then iron appears on your mini-map when you're close to it. Similarly, your silver, oil, gold, all those other things. Star metal, I got to, I think, 80 or 100? I'm not sure if I got to 100 in the last alpha I took part in. But, you know, basically I got to high enough with that and with gathering, harvesting. So that I could actually see like all these things on my mini map, and I think I got to level 100 harvesting. Not sure. I got a really high level with all, quite a few of those things, and because a lot of people don't bother getting high level with it, it's really easy to just gather all the stuff that people normally run by. Yeah, yeah. But then on top of that, right? You can just look at the map and you can notice. Oh, okay. Hey. The fact that this is gray and this is green, that actually means different stuff. So if you know what you're doing, uh, you can look at uh, trade skills. So let's go to harvesting, right? So it'll say... Mining. Let's say mining. Let's see, where does it... I forget where it says that. Somewhere... It mentions where you can actually gather this stuff. Is it on the map? I forget where it is. Oh, this is first light. Okay, um, gathering speed. Ah, oh, resource locations, here we go. So resource locations, you can actually see, oh, okay. Uh, in Highlands, you can find silver, iron, and stone. But this is just for the lower level stuff. But it gives you an idea, right? Okay, so you're likely to find iron. If you need iron, you need Highlands, which is this kind of like grayish terrain. Which would be here. So this is Highlands. Uh, so if I need iron, I can just look at the map and I can go to that location. And, you know, if I run around, I'll find some. But... Also, it's a lot quicker, or you'll notice little nuggets and deposits when it appears on your compass if you're close enough that most people would normally miss. So there's that combination, I think, that I really like of, like, learned things, like uh, personal knowledge that you just build over time, and also having skills and abilities that other players don't have. Wow, I just got a mus musket and a hatchet from that, and a leather hat. That's probably one of the best hauls I've seen. Cloth shirt and a cloth cloth dress. The question is, what's better? Uh, okay, so they're they're both the exact same. I mean, listen, is this a dress or is this a habit? 
You know, am I a monk merely in my monk robes? No, that's a hundred percent a dress. <laughs> it's not a not a monk robe at all. Well, I do like my hats. Ow. Um, excuse me, do you mind? Straight sword mastery. Uh, I gotta be level five. I kind of like this sword and shield. But do I like it more than everything else? That's the question. And the answer to that question is no. Oh, I also have pants. I forgot I'm on pants. Ah, uh, now there's a man who's looking stylish. Uh, if you're curious about reading the lore stream, I'm going to pause on a lot of these notes real quick, but I'm not going to stay on it for very long because I've already read all this a lot, and it's mostly just, what, this magical land that I heal quick in and people can't die, and oh, they come back as zombies, but they're not zombies. They're like magic folks and... Whoa, mystery! I, uh, you know, or in this case, it's literally just, hey, here's all the stuff we were carrying. One box of goat milk, 10 iron logs. I guess there's not really iron logs, but you get what I mean. Yeah, they, it matches on the map. There's a lot of cool quality of life stuff that I think, um, at least to me, it's pretty clear that they put in, uh, New World is a bit of a labor of love, I should say. Uh, and I think it's easy to be pessimistic or to be like, oh yeah, they just, you know, are doing whatever. It's a cash grab. But, I don't know, there's a, a lot of little details that I feel like they paid attention to. Search the shipwrecks for... Do -do -do. Uh, I could use my musket too right now, but... You gotta get saltpeter. That would be my other thing, is gather everything, more or less. I mean, you don't have to literally gather everything, but as much as you can. Uh, you don't have to gather all the boulders or whatever. Uh, generally, you can't master everything, so I like the fact that there are, uh, when you're doing the professions, the best stuff is at like really high level, right? Or there's a lot of really good stuff at the super high levels, but you can't be high level everything because you just don't got that kind of time. Uh, so, like, bears are tracked at level 175. But you can't even start skinning until, you know, you get to a certain point. So, like, boom, here we go. At skill level 200, you can skin animals level 67 and up. Uh, but also, they... I forget exactly the system, but basically... The smaller tiers are also useful. So just because I'm getting a tier one material doesn't mean that it's only good for, you know, low level players. Tier one materials are actually good for, um, what are tier one materials good for? Tier one materials are actually good for, like you can, I think you can group them up. Berserk's cool too, but you know. Do this. Sorry, I'm trying to do a bunch at once. Instead of blocking, I can now throw hatchets, which is kind of cool. But yeah, basically, it's like uh, they'll ask for, oh, hey, you need, I don't know, 20 motes of light. Uh, but in order to get a mote of light, you need, you know, 10 tier one materials or one mote of light, which you can get from another place. So it's still useful to gather stuff and. Some materials or items will require the lower tier steps. Oh, I just like the way that they did it. Yo, uh, excuse me. I'm a little busy here, if you couldn't tell. Trying to loot all the loot. Leather gloves and tannin. Yeah, kind of. Well, it won't appear on the map, but it'll appear on my compass, which is another way that means that it won't just immediately get uh, everything won't get found. So it's every so at the top right here, like how the shipwreck appears on my map. So a little iron nugget might appear on my map that'll say, "Hey, you can do something here." Yeah. yeah. 
kind of like Skyrim lo logic, but it's not so far away that, you know, anyone can find it. So you still have to be kind of close, which means that there will be stuff that you'll find that maybe others won't. I mean, I found that a lot in the mountains with iron, or there'll be one tiny little nugget of iron in the shadows where your average person would just run right past it. But because I saw it on my compass, or I'd be able to see something, let's say I was farming an area, or like trying to kill a boss mob or something in an area. Um, I'd be able to see it when a resource node responds before other players would. And so I'd know, oh, hey, on the other side, if we're all waiting here for a boss, I would see on my compass that, oh, silver spawned on the other side of this rock. And then it's on like a 20 minute timer or something. So I'd be able to go over to it and gather it before the other players would know even what was going on. There are no vehicles right now. Yes, correct. Uh, I feel like they might change that eventually, but they were pretty strong on their stances of there being no no mounts because they wanted players to explore, and that's part of how social distancing. Ooh. Throw an axe forward. Um, that's part of how they wanted people to continue to explore and grab resources. And if you're on a horse, you're not going to jump off the horse constantly to grab something. So I can kind of understand, even if I don't love it. Um, thrown axes are not capable of triggering headshot or random, random critical hit. So let's see that. Um, Berserk was the super strong build previously. There it is. So here, where it triggers a Berserk mode that increases all damage by 20% while active. Berserk mode will be active for 12 seconds. Uh, and then, you know, there's a Defy Death ability, which... When you receive lethal damage, avoid death, reduce health to 50 HP, and gain immortality for three seconds. As you can tell, that's uh, very strong. There's also, you know, a whole socketing thing so that, you know, there's gemstones uh, and socket stuff. It's a very heavy player trading economy, I think, is what they're aiming for. Remember in Arc Age Alpha, we did some trading from one region to another with those heavy backpacks that made us slow. So we, oh, you walk together in a line. See, that sounds really fun. Um, I think there's a, a lot of trading capabilities. Ooh, here we go. Got not very many. Not very much in terms of musket ammo. And that's okay. I'm just, you know, you can waste all your ammo, and that's okay. Uh, I kind of like the musket. I don't know. It's it's fun. It's got a lot of range. It's the only hit scan weapon in the game. I'm actually not even sure if it's hit scan. You can aggro targets from very far away if you got PvP active. Come on. Oh, come with me now. And I'm pretty sure I can level it up by beating people. Yeah, I can level it up by beating people up. Of course, I don't have any saltpeter or the ability to make ammo, and it's too early for people to be selling ammo for a ridiculously cheap price. But, you know, it is what it is. Air trap, power shot. I really shouldn't be using my... It's a little too early to be using the musket right now, I think. I don't know if I'm going to go... I don't think I'm going to go with the hatchet. I use it for a period in the beta or whatnot. Oh, speaking of which, I actually have titles that I could be using. I think. I don't know if they transitioned over from the alpha, but maybe. Yeah, you need iron, you need cloth, and you need uh, saltpeter, which is the hardest thing to find. Hey, there's more cartridges, though. So, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's try something different. Let's actually try to use the musket right away. Because you get a decent amount of ammo. Like, it's not a ton, but you get a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, respecking is free until level 20. That's why I'm okay using it. Also, if I do some damage with the musket and then swap to the axe, uh, I get XP for both weapons, I do believe. But it's half XP, so that's kind of, it's you know, it's the dilemma. The XP is split between the two. Oh, and then later you made a tractor uh, with a cart. Hey, spear and life staff. Wow, dude, I'm actually getting like everything right now. Holy crap. I'm actually shocked. That's, it is giving loot way quicker than previously. Made a tractor with a cart that carried those same packs for us, but it was slower than a player running, so it didn't really make travel fast. Ah, nice. This was actually what I wanted. I was thinking I wanted to do spear, and then I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with life staff, or if I wanted to go life staff again, so I guess we'll try this out. I know they've been changing up some things. But I think I really like the, the life staff last time I used it. I'm tempted, or the spear, sorry. Since I'm gonna be doing a lot of solo stuff, I'm kinda... Maybe we'll use a little bit of the life staff. Just cause it's, it's always nice to have the ability to heal yourself. And the life staff has some great uh, abilities for that. Do the one is up here. I know I, I totally just swapped from like wanting to use the musket a bunch to now. I wasn't expecting to get both the life staff and the spear right away, man. Ow. Uh, life staff mastery. Let's do. Um. Divine embrace. Because I can heal myself with it, which is kind of nice. Though, unfortunately, you don't get XP for self-healing, which is really unfortunate. But you can heal others. Uh, fortunately, you can heal others. Unfortunately, you can't heal PvPers. And healing others doesn't give you XP. Relogging gives you extra XP boost for an hour. Oh, dude, a server issues apparently. Dude, I do not believe this guy. That is 100% a meme. You know, you almost you almost had me for a second there. You almost had me. I feel like, you know, Captain Cloud, we, we've got our staff, so it, it only feels fair to use the spear. I was messing around with it a little bit uh, at the end of my time in the beta. And I was kind of liking it. But I read, I mean, I was going to say spoilers, but not really, I guess. But I heard that they wanted to add a lightning scythe to the game. And I thought, dude, if they're adding a lightning scythe, that's going to be my jam. Not that I particularly love scythes, but anything lightning, weapony. There's already the, uh, the hammer. But it's comically oversized, and I don't know. It just doesn't just doesn't quite seem right. Spear. Okay, so I got javelin, or I've got skewer. Throw your spear, dealing 125% weapon damage. Cyclone, sweep. Kind of like sweep. Perforate skewer. Vault. Ooh, vault kick. Rush forward and skewer your target, dealing 125% weapon damage. Applies bleed. Applying rend. I do love me this vault kick. Dealing 75% weapon damage and applies stun. 
10% damage per debuff on target. 25% damage while stamina is full. So this is throw. Targets are knocked down on hit. Headshots reduce extra damage for the farther it's thrown. Critical chance on attack. 10% critical chance on it on attacks against targets that are three meters plus away. That's not bad. Dodging backwards consumes less stamina for two seconds after successful hits. Extra damage against knockdown targets. Gain fortify against successful heavy attacks. Grit is now active during attack. Press basic attack during sweep to follow up with a powerful downward stab. Ooh, that deals 125% damage. Successful heavy attacks reduce all spear cooldowns by 15%. Spin attack. That I don't love spin attacks. That deal 120% weapon damage pushes targets. All right, let's see the other one. Source stamina on hit. Grid is now active, making your attacks unstoppable. Skewer, crit chance. All spear cooldowns are reduced by 10% on the second hit of the light attack chain. Ooh, you know what? I'm doing that. We're trying this out. We're going to go the impaler chain. As much as I love throwing spears, I feel like... Okay, so that really... You know, I, I feel like I'm definitely going to use light attacks more than I'm going to use heavy attacks. Oh, okay. Okay. Can stab multiple people. Right, let's try skewer again. Yeah, uh, let's see. Arrows. So skewer is definitely not how I would have expected. And I really like the flexibility they give you. To be able to... Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting this many people to attack me. That's right, I forgot that I made that my quick swap. It's nice to see that key binding stuck. It does not heal as much as I would have preferred. Heals what, 100? That's why you gotta level up multiple skills. You know, maybe we'll... All right, so we tried Skewer, right? Let's try Javelin. Because maybe I'll like Javelin more for the beginning. Ooh, I can hold it. Ooh, I like that a lot, actually. Which is the reason why I was kind of scared of Javelin, because I was afraid I would like it. That's actually kind of fun. If you like my weapons, I can throw. That needs a little bit more. Oh, that's a player. Did not realize that was a player. Seems to be 5%, 5 second cooldown too, which is kind of heavy. Complete the quest. Perfect. Give me my bow. You've done storm preceding your arrival. Yes. I hate to ask a newcomer, but you handle yourself well enough. Go Investigate the cavern. Be warned, though. Mm. Question. You know, I've got my got a bow now. Sixty arrows. It's kind of a lot of arrows. See, bow, evade shot, rain of arrows, poison shot, rapid shot, penetrating shot, splinter shot, knee shot, concussion. Ooh, you deal 20% 20 more damage on a headshot and a 50% chance to get your arrow back. Man, why is it always the other one that I am interested in? Yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. See spear. Does have sweep, which is kind of cool. 
So many skills, and you know they're going to add more skill trees, which is something that I think is kind of cool. Oh, I'm in the wrong area for Tide Swallow Cave. Um, that's a good question. I could probably actually do the math if they... I, I think they removed the beta. Yeah, they removed the beta. Rats, I can't. Not 80, but probably like 30, 40, a lot. Easy, well, maybe more than 30. Okay, hold on, let me think. Probably 40, 50, a lot. Yeah, so the first time I played through the, the alpha, we played a decent amount, but the second time I think we played even more. We got to level... 15, 17, somewhere around there. Second time we got to level 20. Uh, but we also kind of took our time and. Yeah, definitely a lot. I always massively underestimate the amount of time I end up playing when I stream games because you don't really think about it, but like streaming, you. It's a lot of time. Come on. Come at me, boar. Think I'm afraid of you? Not. Oh, yeah, and you got me. Okay, yeah. Let's gather these things. I like that I can also mess around with this while I'm doing this. Targets are knocked down. Sweep the leg. So this is skewer, and then I could perforate. Seventy percent weapon damage, seven fourteen twenty eight, reducing the uh, target's damage absorption by. So let's try this. Spear cooldowns reduced by ten percent on the second hit of the light attack chain. So I can perforate them. And then I get a 10% cooldown reduction so I can continue to perforate. It's not quite as fancy as my, my javelin, but I'm sure my second ability is going to be a uh, stab. Also, you know, I'm learning things like the fact that once you're able to build better harvesting tools, you can get perks on your better harvesting tools. They're actually really good. Part of why I'm. Let's see. I gotta go in this cave. Caves like this are a great place to get saltpeter. Um, again, any unique resource that you might not understand what it is, uh, it's good to grab if you can. We gotta go around. I see. I see. It's only giving me plus five spear mastery, which is not much. I probably, oh, but I'm getting a lot of boar meat and boar skinning abilities. Yeah, yeah, all of your unique resources can be found in a cave. Maybe, ish. <laughs> the only things you need. I think. I think you might need fibers for the bow too. I'm not sure though. See, I'm pretty sure there's like a chest around here. Things like uh, ch -ch -ch. these herbs down here. Again, always useful to grab if you see them. If you're grabbing herbs whenever you see them, you level up so quickly. Plus 14, Spear Mastery. That's almost like three boar. Hyssop and saffron. So you can make healing potions very quickly through these herbs. They don't weigh a ton. You can always drop stuff. Ah. 
Oh, hey, look at that. I was able to hit both of them. Kind of one of the nice benefits of the spear. Does give you some nice CC. More arrows, more cartridges. Because I'm kind of just like doing so much running around that I hate. Hmm. Maybe I'll level up one weapon pretty good. Uh, there's backstab damage too, which is kind of nice. Basically hitting him twice in a row or hitting him with a second attack in my attack chain uh, knocks a second off my cooldown because of that ability I got. Is it the most use? Eh, I don't know if it's the most useful right now. But I can use... Now that I'm thinking about it, stream, I might actually respect that. I mean, it's useful, right? But I'm rarely fighting more than two enemies at once. So I don't know if I'm really using my two abilities to the most of their build, uh, potential. When I could just be using the two abilities on, like, one after the other. And then by the time I fight another foe, they're probably going to be fine. So in this case, it should be... I want to initiate with Skewer, because that applies bleed. And then while I'm hitting him with Perforate... Uh, target's damage... Yeah. Damage... Reducing the target's damage absorption. I don't really know what that means. What does it mean to reduce a target's damage absorption? Like... They take more damage? That's what I would assume it to mean. But it's just a really weird way of phrasing that. Here we go. Here's the mystery. There we go. Ah, okay. I could see that. Weapon chest. Hey. Uh, I think some of these boss mobs can actually do actually have rare drops. Hey, the rapier. I forgot about the rapier. The rapier is actually kind of cool. I like the rapier. Got another musket. I always forget that the rapier exists. It's just that's my one of my only criticisms with New World is I don't love the fact that it kind of pushes you into one of two trees, right? So it doesn't it seem the skills don't seem to encourage you to mix and match so much. It's more like, oh hey, here's your three skills in this tree, and here's your three major skills in this tree. Um, and you choose a tree and you stick with it. By and large. Um, it's not true for every um, ability. Or for every weapon. There are some weapons where it's totally fine. But things like the rapier, I was trying to mix and match. And it just wasn't quite... Wasn't quite jiving. Game is pretty dope. Yep. I like the fact that there's an auto-run ability as well. And the fact that you can auto-run while in your menus. Flint is the tricky one because it's like rocks, right? They're, it's like rocks. I seem so knowledgeable <laughs> about nature. But um, since they're kind of like large, it's one of those things that you see everywhere. So you're like, oh, yeah, I'll, you know, I don't really need it. But then when you actually need it, you need it. But if you gather it every time you see it, you're going to fill up your inventory real quick. So I haven't quite figured out how much flint one needs to carry. You're right. Yes. Done as much as I could ask. In the first light. Truffle fever. Collect any truffles you find. 
and bringing them to the hapless ho how in the settlement. Look for any herbs and or berries you can gather as well. well. You don't have to tell me twice. I like the idea of the rapier, but like in many cases, I like two of three skills or something like that. But I think I'll stick with spear and then my secondary, I'm not sure what that'll be. I do kind of want it to be in the same vein as my primary. Sorry, friendo. Did I steal your blackboard? Tracking and skinning level five. Here's some of that, some of those boulders I was talking about. Where most people see a boulder and they think that's a dumb old rock. I see a boulder and I see a world of opportunity. Oh, this guy collecting his fungus. So these kinds of rocky formations, prime boulder territory. Ow. What's more useful, those herbs or this boar? Decisions, decisions. It's, it's, it's good to be, to be back. Pristine animal, see, there you go. I got a pristine animal thing. Uh, Boulder makes you think of uh, still reusing the inner uh, material and mining for stuff like homestead wall material to be into the pioneer, right? Stuff like that, you know? It's, it's surprisingly kind of useful. There's a pretty large and robust housing system. Whoa, look at this guy. That's got to be a quest. I'm kind of scared, and I don't have any ranged weapons. What am I saying? Of course I got ranged weapons. Let's take him out. Oh, he's only level five. Galtour the Fierce. Ow. Okay, I can I can just hit him with my bleed. And he'll take more damage. Backstab. Oh, how did I miss that? Easy, easy. All right, pretend this is Dark Souls, where uh, damage actually matters. All right, so I, I am getting some lag right now. This also has a surprising amount of range. The uh, spear, which makes sense. I mean, it is a spear. Heavy strikes is 130. Light attack to 78. That's an ability. Oh, you're going down now, son. Galtour the Fierce, more like Galtour the Dead. I don't know, that wasn't very good. But we got him. I don't know if he has any solid drops. Just rawhide and pork. Ooh, saltpeter. Hey, there's that saltpeter I was talking about. Uh, things like saltpeter can also be sold in starter towns for a tidy profit because any prospective uh, gunner man is going to be looking for it. Yeah. You know, it's like poetry. Rhymes. Well, I guess if that's all he had, that's all he had. That is all she wrote. What was I doing here? Oh, yeah. I was uh, trying to climb these rocks. 
search of fortune and ad adventure, but mostly, mostly fortune. To be confused with 4chan, that's a whole, whole nother thing. I never realized the similarities between that and the word fortune. What is this, Flint? Uh, more hyssop. Ooh, and looks like there might be some other plants here too. Or is that just... I think that's just a tree. I don't think this is a special tree. It's just a bush. Yep. SSG! This doesn't look like Retro Star Citizen. Dude, it's like wicked Retro Star Citizen. What you talking about? 100% totally sort of Star Citizen. It's like, uh, you know, New Citizen. Star World, Citizen World, New Citizen. Hey, these are my herbs. I got there first. Island Citizen, yep. Pretty much. Listen, Boar, you leave me alone, I leave you alone. We'll leave each other well enough alone. Be happy about it to boot. Which server is this? Um, I think it should say in the stream title, but... Uh, we are in the server Pe Pe Pengli. Pengli. Uh, let me know if it doesn't say that in the Twitch title, because I can change that. Server Pengli. Ooh, berry bush. Uh, I also like the fact that a lot of recipes require tier ingredients rather than specific ones. So, you know, if you have a tier two, bear, uh, it needs a tier two food, which might be something like berries or strawberries or I don't know. Blueberries. You're, you get the idea. So you can... And you can choose to use which... Uh, the ingredients... That you'd like. Hey. I'm like, excuse me. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is there. Wait, what is there? Um, did you... Are you in SSG? Did you pick up New World or download the game yet? Dude, we have had a heck of a time. Eight hours later, we finally got in, and I'm happy. To, I'm happy to be in. You know, all things considered. I've got a fantastic internet these days, so I shouldn't be suffering from any lag. But yet, sometimes it is what it is. You're gonna wait until the really. Oh, okay, that that makes sense. Well, if you're interested, you're always welcome to join me on Pengli. Um. They said that you'll be able to swap servers in like about two weeks, which I thought was really cool news of them because of all the shenanigans, you know, with launch. But overall, a bit of a hectic launch. But the fact that it got resolved in a day, hey, there's there's something. I know we're mostly doing harvesting, crafting things, or harvesting gathering right now but it's because those are very important things to level up quickly because the faster i level those up uh the faster i will be able to yoink resources <laughs> from other people because if i wait too long then everyone's gonna be you know high level harvesters and you know it'll start to get, actually get competitive and ugh, there's one thing i hate as a capitalist is competition wonder how they prioritize server swaps if some get full um well i mean you uh it's more like uh transferring over a character so you'll still run into the issues of you know if everyone transfers to the same server uh you know you there might be some hairiness to it but you know you can also right now a lot of people just want to jump in and play and they don't want to wait have to wait forever and so, for example, I don't know, maybe I'll talk with some other Star Citizen streamers or whatnot and see if we can't agree to a server to jump into, more or less. But I, I was talking with a lot of people today, and most people were just like, yeah, I'm, I just jumped into a random server because I didn't want to wait, you know, this long or X long. And it's one of the tricky parts when everyone starts at a different stream hour. Um... So I, I thought that was kind of neat. I'm kind of looking forward to that. 
Hey, Spear Mastery level three. That means I can get my third ability, Leaping Strike. Oh, I can't uh, spec in while things are on cooldown. Using your spear to vault forward, kick your target for 75% weapon damage. Apply a stun for one and a half seconds. Battlefield, oh really, 2042 beta in one week? Nice. And I was thinking about this. This is kind of like the game, uh, probably the second biggest release of the year. Oh, uh, right, right, right behind Halo Infinite, I would think. Wow, I'm already level 7. Uh, you know, let's actually chop down a tree because I haven't really gathered any wood and that's one of those things that you think, oh yeah, there's trees everywhere. Covenant for life. I also like that you can walk away from harvesting a material and walk back and you'll get back into it. I know there's quite a few people who are waiting till the weekend before they jump in. Might also get a little exciting because I think that's not uh, an isolated perspective, but you know, you might not be the only one, but it'll be cool. You know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Wolves here, cool. blueberries. Talking about blueberries earlier and here they are. Look at that, I'm already level 20 harvesting. That's what I wanted to do. Titles. I should have some titles, shouldn't I? Bio. Change. Oh, I only have Expedition 1. Well, it's still something. Might not be much, but it's an honest title. All right, let's kick him. Ha! Ah. Ow. Uh, I like at least, I, I feel like you got to get at least the first three levels of your weapon of choice before you can really, not of choice, but you got to get at least the first three skills of a weapon before you can truly decide if you like it or not. Because especially if you're below level 20, you can respect for free. So I would highly recommend that. Jeez, what a jump. Just like face tanking a bunch of the. Face tanking so much of the damage. Yeah, it's. Um, I think New World is also a really beautiful game. It uh, doesn't get quite enough credit for that. Environments look very cool. What was the last Battlefield game you've played, SSG? Come on. Ooh, is that a rock over there? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, that's not just a rock. It's a boulder. Big, ooh, a turkey nest. Um, excuse me, do you mind? Wow, I'm actually getting my butt kicked. By a bunch of wolves, a bunch of freaking wild animals. Oh my goodness, that was actually scary. They almost killed me right there. Uh, feathers are good if you. I did. I just get a bunch of feathers from the turkey nest. Oh, I didn't know you could gather turkey nests. Uh, if you're looking to become an archer, you need a lot of feathers, like a lot of feathers. That can be an easy thing to skimp out on. There was something like 700,000 players on Steam. You thought New World would just kind of die, but I guess people are hungry for MMOs. Yes, people are very hungry for MMOs, and it's pretty high polished. Um, as long as they don't mess it up, they might just have a hit on their hands. I mean, I like it. I have a lot of fun playing it. I like a lot of the systems. Um, 
Time will tell, of course, but it sounds like some of the if some of the leaks are to be believed, they've got quite a few weapons on their hands uh, that are in development. Combat's not too shabby. Uh, it seems like they've also been fairly responsive to uh, feedback. Not going in the direction that everyone particularly loves, but you know, it's not too shabby. Hey, what happened to that? Oh, there it is. There's my turkey. No help. All right, it would just be faster if I literally just killed this thing. I just want the turkeys. Every time I want a turkey, there's like a wolf in my way. You guys ever had that problem in real life? No? Just me? Right, that's fair. Seriously, wolves. Like, chill. These wolves have no chill stream. At all. I just wanted to break some rocks, man. Literally all I wanted. Bust some boulders. Oof. Battlefield 3 is probably the last one you played any meaningful amount. You have tried all of them, but you haven't enjoyed Battlefield game in a long time. Yeah, I hear, I hear you. I hear you there. Um, like I, Battlefield Bad Company 2 was probably my most played one. And then Battlefield 3 I played a little bit, but I, I don't know. Just didn't quite snag me as much as some of the previous ones. Or as much as the previous one, I should say. Because that was also my first one. Brush turkeys. Sell these feathers. I don't know why. I think this new one will... I, you don't know why you think this new one will be any different. I don't know. It seems like, you know, at least the marketing. I'm intrigued by... I think they announced one of their, you know... They're doing like a mixture of all of the games or something in part of the multiplayer. Camp, I literally don't even know how to camp yet. Wow. Just told me camping wasn't unlocked yet. Feels bad. Mm hmm. Def definitely. I'm telling you, man, all these boulders are overlooked. The portal thing. What was the portal thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, right, right. Forgot that was what it was called. I really got to uh, actually get to uh, the first city. Do that literally just for the spear mastery. Uh, let's try and respec this. The spear, it's not bad. I do want to have this ability where all spear cooldowns are reduced by 10% on the second hit of the light attack chain. But... Go that, sweep, and cyclone. 110% weapon damage, pushing targets back, applying 50% slow, knocking him down, and a throw. Yeah, I think the portal thing that they're doing sounds cool. Uh, basically, what it is is it's like... I, I don't even fully remember it but it was something like a multiplayer mode where they're combining all of the previous like battlefield games and so you could do you know world war one versus you know futuristic battlefield or you know you could give one side all knives and the other side you know med zappy pen things <laughs> paddles you know you know what i'm talking about now i'm saying a bunch of Twitch primers. Any Twitch primers in the chat? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, they're not rebuilding it, but they're just including, like, elements from all the previous ones or whatnot. All right, let's see what the marketplace is looking like. Wow, that guy just jumped. Let's see what the marketplace is looking like. Weapons. Got some green weapons, some war hammers, some 40Ks. It's a little early, you know, but if somebody's selling it for cheap, five, it's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Level nine. All right, it's mine. I'm buying it. Chain lightning, uh, green hammer. I bought it. It's five gold. Five gold is not much. I got to be level nine, which is why people weren't buying it. Dummies. It's going to be level nine in like a second. <laughs> Hunt five wild bison. Acquire and deliver 50 stone blocks. Acquire and deliver 10 nightcrawler bait. Uh, you get Nightcrawler bait from Overturning Flint. I already have some. Uh, bison. Yeah, I have two. You'll find more bison by just continuing on in the quest line. It's always a treat. Oh, dear. It's funny to record. Oh, it was dead. I'll begin. Then the settlement is already in your bed. Uh, and what was the last one? Oh, yeah, stone cutting. I've been gathering a bunch of stone, and I'm going to turn it into stone blocks anyways. Also easy. Eventually, you'll be able to just, like, buy stone, I'm sure, from the marketplace to complete some of those things. If you feel so inclined. Um, I'm going to throw you'll these things. Me. Sorry, I, it feels like I literally just did this. Better That's why I'm kind of skipping good. through. And a lot of it's very, well. very simple. Check in with Keep Fairfax and get like, oh, hey. No Welcome to our town, newcomer. Go check out this place. Go here. Go here. Check out the inn. Talk with this guy. But also, I can't just tell you to talk with this guy. So I'll use an item that you got to deliver to talk with the guy. Increase storage space. Welcome to the everlasting talk. Register. Yep, I would like to check in. Thank you very much. Already checked in. Anyone know how to get gems? Gems are a uh, drop from mining. Anybody hear me? There you are. I Low percentage see. every time you hide. Flint logging axe. Didn't I already make a flint logging axe? Never consider living in. It's a uh, long story. Hey, level eight. Once our markets were packed solid. Constitution. We the people, my dudes. Open the trading post, which I already did. Arrows are kind of expensive, actually. And the storage shed. Uh, actually, before we go to the storage shed, though, let's go to... Stone cutting. I have to get used to like what everything is. Direction. Ah, I mean, I should probably just do that. I should just open up the storage shed anyways. But there should be a storage shed over here. Might not be the storage shed in question, but... Good enough. There you go. Stone cutting. So take all of my stone and turn it into stone blocks. You might actually need some stone for some materials. I don't remember, but. Easy clap. Um, how many stone blocks did I need? I think I needed 50, right? Oops. J for journal. I need 50. So let's drop all these stone blocks. Um, yeah, so, like, a bunch of player housing stuff. Commander Joshi! <laughs> hey. 
carry the fight to the north. Yeah. All right. I feel you, man. I feel you. Timber. Timber. Tin. Smelter. I can smelt wood to make charcoal. I can also make ingots, but I don't have any iron ore. Eventually, my friends, we will get into this. Uh, iron ingots, timber, coarse leather. Yeah, I got to do a lot more stone, stone keeping. But I also have a lot of ingredients and I probably got to deposit. As you see, it may have. I will continue. I should the quest. certainly hope so. But so mine, I literally just made all of this strategy. stuff. Taking up on me. Oh, I got a bunch of leather. Um, I should do some leather working as well. Someone singing Imagine in the in-game chat. Imagine there's no hell. Oh, it's not. Oh. Magistrate, one truth that that's the spirit. Armor case. Even Here we go. Dire circumstances. Gather. Oh, gather stone. See exactly. There we go. Gather stone. Gather green wood. Classic stream, classic. Where right when you finish, that's why you have to be careful about refining materials. Learn from my mistakes. These are also houses. Um, you can player housing that you can own. Kitchen loom. Uh, but the way that housing works is it showcases the house that basically has the highest score. By the grace of this bar, is it not truly a wonder to be alive? Yeah, it is pretty wonderful to be alive. Hey, Juanito, how are you, man? I don't know if that's a command on Facebook unless you notice something. Let me know if that is a thing. Of course, of playing all these betas. These days you play alphas and betas enough to see if you like the game, then quit, right? It is definitely a curse of uh, betas. Uh, it's tricky. All right, let's turn all of this into coarse leather. Easy to get. Easy XP as well. I just got uh, seems telling me that this person's playing Counter-Strike and then they're playing Dark Souls. I feel like those are different things, but okay. All right, now all this leather's done. It's like so much trash. You guys gotta clean up all this paper that you just have lying around. Weird. What do I need coarse leather for? Oh, I'm supposed to gather rawhide. Whoops. I guess I can turn rawhide into leather so it doesn't mind. Um, all right, let's drop all this stuff. 21, so I need a bunch more of that. Uh, I already have these tools. I don't really need those. Um, oh, gear. Here we go. Replace our gear that we've got. And then salvage the rest. Uh, the repair parts will come in handy. Low level gear like this doesn't really matter. Especially when people are selling a ton of the exact same stuff. Um, refining ingredients can all go in storage because I don't need them until I need them. Same with cooking. When I want to get into cooking, it'll be right here when I need it. But otherwise, it's just going to make a bunch of inventory space. All right, look at that. Look at how much space we just cleared out. And now I've got to gather some more stone and some more green wood, which both should be pretty easy. Can I brew beer? Um, mm, no, my friend showed me how to do it once, but I don't remember. But I take it you mean in-game. Where I'm pretty sure you can, but I don't... Yeah, I, I think you can. I'm sorry, Juanito. Lo siento. 
do this, you gotta be level 50. You follow Captain's tricks, you know. You might just get there in time. Mine everything you see. You'll be level 50 before you know it. Uh, I need this area. This is that kind of rocky area. Better place to be. What about you? Can you get, can you brew beer? <laughs> Interesting question to ask. Ooh, hemp. Hey, hemp is good. This has fibers stream. I wonder if they redistributed some of the, the fibers because that was one of the most common questions during the previous betas. Uh, for reference, also, I did not play the last beta. So if they changed a lot during that, which I don't think they did, but, you know, they might have changed some stuff, I was not around to hear it or see it. It was a bit weak, but otherwise okay, right? It's it's kind of fun, though. My old, my roommate, you know, he was getting into it. And for his, I was one of his, his groomsmen, uh, and he made beer as his, his present for everyone. Which is kind of cool. Boom. 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 Slowly gathering all these boulders. Also, you get faster at gathering, so it doesn't always take this long. I think right now I'm leaning towards spear and hammer. That's kind of. Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. Of course, I don't have a ranged attack unless I go with Javelin. Which wouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Kick wasn't quite as impactful as I imagined. Also, fun fact, the larger sized materials do actually give you more stuff. So, you know, larger boulders give you more loot. If you're racing someone towards, say, iron, which is a thing that'll definitely happen, uh, if you go for the larger one, you'll get more stuff. There's only like two rocks or something. five stone I don't think I'm high enough level for the big trees it doesn't even show up right now level 50 there's all my stone which is more than enough I'm sure but mm. what is your favorite hobby stream yeah what's your favorite hobby that you do Rocks are too big. Guess I could just be gathering all this. Oh right, um, I need to overturn a lot of flint because I need nightcrawler bait. Three more. There's something just kind of satisfying. Like the sound design is really good, very effective. Covenant for life. Just, you know, mentioning that, you know, there are Covenant folks in the chat. Is browsing the internet mindlessly several hours a day a hobby? Right? Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> I'm slowly trying to... Just saying good night. I'm, I'm giving you the microphone now. <laughs> oh, gross. Ew. She's got slobber all over my mic. No. <laughs> she says, now you make me sound gross. No, not at all. 
Not at all. All right, well, Schlaf, good shots. I think it's your early morning tomorrow. Is it your early morning tomorrow? Yeah, it is. Early morning. Okay. All right, sounds good. Right? Gaming's a hobby. I mean, that's, you know, a stream. If you didn't say gaming, then I would have been sorely disappointed. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Aside from gaming, aside from the, you know, the obvious. 12 hour plus stream. She said to set an early alarm, which to me sounds like I should just not sleep. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, I need more nightcrawler bait. How much nightcrawler bait did I need again? You know, I was saying that I didn't like the, uh, the spin move, but his spin move actually looks kind of sick. Town project. Cold stone. Oh yeah, acquire and deliver. So I got all those. Oh, I don't have the all of them, but I have a bunch of them. You blocked Reddit from midnight to 5 p.m. from your router. Ooh, that's a good idea. I know, dude. I My phone's been telling me that I average like five hours a day on my phone. It's way too much, which sounds ridiculous. And to be fair, it is totally ridiculous. But, you know, a lot of that is like podcasts or YouTube. YouTube when I'm cleaning, doing stuff. But I'm trying to take less time on that. But yeah, it's, it's crazy how much time just a little bit here and a little bit there really all adds up. How quickly it adds up. What is the name of the server stream? Pinglai. The server is Pinglai. I don't remember where you can find it, but you can find it somewhere. Been trying. Ooh, play more guitar, but you have shoulder issues. Ah, and can't do it for long. Hey, every little bit helps. Um, consistency, you know, is more important than pr prodigious talent. Um, and it's kind of interesting that if you have Facebook popping up, uh, or if you have Facebook open and someone mentions something, it immediately opens up that window. Come on, young tree, young blood, young tree. Here is the last one. Yeah, I don't know. For me, definitely jujitsu is fun. I was uh, playing a little bit of the uke while we were waiting for <laughs> for a new world. And that got me thinking, well, because I was thinking, man, I really want to get back into music and learning and all that. We had a nice little stretch for a while there. And it's really fun, and I enjoy it. So it's kind of like a loose plan. 40K has been a lot of fun, too. But I was also thinking about getting into the Hobbit. Hobbit? Into the hobby of just creating, making stuff. Um, there's a, I was listening to a great podcast. It was actually a... Um, what was it called? A Tim Ferriss podcast with James Dyson, who's the inventor and founder or creator of, you know, the, the Dyson company. Might know their vacuums, amongst other things. But I was really impressed because it turns out he is a rather incredible inventor guy craft timber at wood shop craft stone blocks at wooden cut oh i had to do all those things first Boo. anyways it was super interesting and i was thinking like yeah there's a bunch of stuff i want to make and i don't think it would be that difficult to make but i've just been lazy i don't know it's just thoughts i had earlier today um timber at the workshop easy enough just kidding can't do that oh but i can do flint Greenwood and feathers equal f arrows. Cool. But I was thinking, because we were at the uh, farmer's market the other day, and I was like, man, if people can be making and selling their own jewelry, why can't someone just, like, invent small little things without needing to create, like, an entire company around it or whatnot, right? Why can't you just make stuff? And then, sure, sell it, And but if there's no audience... Or no, uh, no one interested. That's not a big deal, you know. Not everything you make has to be some major company or something. 
you'll learn while creating and hey, you'll be a lot better at making stuff. Of course, see, here we go. It wants me to craft coarse leather at the tannery. Despite the fact that I already crafted a crap ton of coarse leather. That's okay. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, anyways, that's something I'd like to challenge myself on doing more. Do, 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 do. Hmm. There's more of that. What is this even? Earth crag. Dr. Professor, PhD, hot dog. You know, speak of the devil. I was kind of just speaking of you because I was, I have the Facebook stream open. Oh, look at those guys fishing over there. I have the Facebook stream open and I was saying how whenever somebody types in Facebook message, uh, it just automatically opens it up, which isn't that bad. But then it like, I, don't the messages say that they're read when they're opened up and you know, yeah, when it's opened up. I'm like, I don't want to give people the wrong impression. I didn't respond because I could have and just ignored it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. But thank you, Dr. Professor. Stream also, I should just mention, if you're not following Dr. Professor PhD, you should check him out. He might be taking a mini hiatus from streaming because he just had twins. But I'm sure he'll get back in the game eventually. Yeah, there is fishing. Fishing is actually pretty legit, too. Yes. Release day. Oh my goodness. Well, you are lucky that you got in at a right time, at a prim and proper time for release, because I played eight hours of New World today, and I did not play New World, or at least I didn't get past the loading screen for any amount of that eight hours. <laughs> so, finally, an hour and a half ago, we got in. But, oh boy, it was, it was rough. Now things have settled down quite a bit. My advice, do not join a hyper-populated server. Uh, yeah, it's a bad idea. Uh, on the bright side, because it was such a fuster cluck, if you will, uh, the release, they've said that, hey, I've unlocked the ability to mine silver veins. Ruby. They said that you'll be able to migrate servers in about two weeks or something. Um, they're going to do, you know, once in a lifetime migration free for all. Which I'm thankful for because I know so many people who just joined random servers because they were tired of waiting to queue in. Tired of the queue. But how are you, man? How are you? Long time no see. I know I'm doing a rare night stream because this morning stream did not work. This guy, Captain America, is that you? Kind of look like it with his shield. I don't know what he's up to. Let's just let him do his own thing. Oh, right. Sorry. I totally forgot. The entire reason I was out here was because I needed to kill some animals. Yeah, right. First time. First one's free. Pretty much. But I've been having a blast. Been good. How's the chat feeling? Chat, how are you feeling? You answer anything less than spectacular, you're getting permabanned. You've been warned. I kid, I kid. Yes, this, no, this is, um, this is juice. This is wheat juice, barley juice. Um, yeah, fun, uh, in, in good news, I'm probably not gluten intolerant or whatever. Um, I'm probably just lactose intolerant, uh, which we did kind of know, but yeah, I'm like super lactose intolerant. Uh, oh, right, I forgot I totally... Changed up all my all my abilities. I gotta get used to this. So, anyways, we had further proof of that today. I mean, I already we already knew that. We went to the doctor, took a bunch of tests, and he found out. Yep, congratulations, your stomach hates you. But I was eating some stuff, and then I felt like throwing up afterwards, right after dinner. And I was like, "What gives? There's there's no dairy in this meal. Like, I'm like heaving, dry heaving a little bit. It's not so much fun." And then uh, Ladina realized, wait a second, uh, the tortellini that we ate totally had like a dairy filling. And because I haven't been eating any dairy for quite a while now, even just a little bit, you know, I feel affected by it. But I felt vindicated, vindicated because it was like a blind taste test a little bit, you know? Uh, further proving that I've felt great the past few weeks, but anytime I have a little bit of dairy, Surprise! 
But we did get some, like, lactose medicine or whatever. So I can eat dairy when I choose. I just can't do it, like, all the time. And I just have to take, like, a, a pill thing beforehand. I'm one of those people now. That's okay. Wow, these are... It's a lot of curb. Level 25 harvesting in an hour and a half. Feels good, man. I can now track hemp. Hemp. I'm telling you. The benefits. They're endless. A really old juice. Yeah, there's like... You might be able to. I was just reading some stuff on it, you know. You might be able to build a slow tolerance, but also maybe not. And also, I don't know. I was just eating a lot, and I was doing the exact opposite of building a slow tolerance. I was... <laughs> There's a lot of dairy in Switzerland, turns out. Who knew? They didn't warn me of that when I came here. Yeah, so I, like, I, I don't know. I think I'm missing an enzyme, right? Uh, any biologists in the chat are free to correct me, but I believe I, I'm... Lactose intolerance is natural, right? But the people who can't digest lactose have an enzyme that their body produces that helps uh, break it down. Uh, but because I no longer produce that, because I'm not a baby. <laughs> babies. Babies produce that um, for mother's milk and all that. But then at some point, your body should stop producing it. Um, but people are like, just kidding. And in Europe, mostly, they kept that enzyme. Yeah, so the, the pill has an enzyme that helps me digest lactose better. Uh, and I'm supposed to take, I don't know, like one pill for every 100 milligrams of lactose or something like that. I don't know. But also, you shouldn't take it too much because there's, I don't know, bad results. or I don't know. It's, it's, it's not good if you just take it all the time, which isn't a worry for me because I don't I like dairy. But also, lactose is like um, alcohol. So, similarly, how different drinks have different alcoholic contents, different foods have different lactose contents. So, uh, your hard cheeses are kind of like your alcohol-free beers, if you will, or your kombuchas, where they technically have trace amounts, but not a problem at all. So, I don't have to worry about that. So, just because it does have cheese or dairy or whatever doesn't mean I can't touch the stuff. But, yeah, there's more than uh, you ever wanted to know about lactose intolerance. That's all. Raise the roof. Yeah, it's been good, man. We've been waiting. We've slowly been playing through all the Halo games as of late as well. Uh, just beat Halo 3 last Friday. Uh, Star Citizen, new patch. Dude, I don't know if you saw uh, Dr. Professor. I don't know if you saw the latest ISC, the latest Inside Star Citizen. You should check it out if you haven't. They are doing some major updates this next patch with medical gameplay and personal inventory stuffs. It's currently in Evocati. I'm really excited about it. If you're wondering, stream, why I'm mining so many boulders, it's because I've got a plan, a strategy, if you will, and that is to level up my stone cutting or my, my mining and my stone cutting ability very fast by mining all the boulders that I can see. And by doing so, I'll be able to grab all of the higher tier materials and rocks and what have you before anyone else. And I'll be able to gather a plethora of gems that I can then sell at other settlements in addition to being able to make weapons, high tier weapons and things like that. Mining just seems like it has all sorts of uses and most people just ignore these giant boulders which are just chock full of experience and stone to boot. The last two ISCs were pretty nice. Yeah, and the, oh yeah, the second, okay, so maybe the last two ISCs I would recommend. Second to last one has medical stuff. The last one was just a pure sprint report. Unfiltered, unadulterated. Uh, sprint report, straight to the veins. Ooh, my pick broke. Let's repair it. It's free to repair, so no worries. I already broke my first mining pick, and it hasn't even been two hours yet. That's what I call a success, my friends. Yar, our fiddle dee -doo. Um, Turns out, yeah, so we went to, um, I was saying, because I was having some weird, like, health stuffs, right? So we went to the doctor, did a bunch of tests, and we also found out that I have a, 
I forget his exact terms, but basically, uh, I have a, a, a proclivity? No. A predisposition towards lactose, or towards uh, gluten intolerance. That was it. A predisposition towards it. A genetic disposition towards it. Um, so he said, you know, if you've got symptoms, you are gluten intolerant. You got celiacs or whatever. If you don't have symptoms, then you're fine. Well, we weren't sure if my symptoms were purely from lactose intolerance or whatnot. Uh, so by cutting that out, we're seeing, and I'm really hoping I'm not gluten intolerant because that would be unfortunate because things like beer have gluten in it. There's not really gluten-free beer. There's some, but it's like it's it's rare, especially here in Switzerland. Unless you want to go straight to like vodka or whiskey or all the hard stuff, which can be great. Don't get me wrong, uh, in moderation, of course. But sometimes, sometimes you just want to kick back and relax after a long night or a long day's work and throw back a few. So so far, it seems okay, but you know. Craziness, madness in other news. Other other news. Uh, I'm taking part in my first uh, jujitsu competition. This later this month, October. In, I don't know, like two weeks, three weeks. I think three weeks now. I'm uh, that was like a drum roll. I'm excited. It'll be cool. It's gonna be crazy, madness. But uh, no. Sometimes, if you want to make progress, you gotta break some bones, right? Ooh, what is that? There's like a bottle on the seashore. Ooh, the maelstrom revealed. By God, the Northman was right. Those who doubted now reside in the murky deep, and I shall join them soon enough. I cling to what is left of our once proud ship. At long last, I've set eyes upon it. The beast that lurks in the heart of the storm. Just as Dietrich had warned. A kraken of the old world. Its baleful gaze illuminates the water like the spectral moon. This demon is the true guardian of this accursed island. There is no escape from Eternal. Maelstrom will see to that. There is no escape. DP. Oh, that sounds nice. And What could go wrong? You know, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, yes, I would like to bind this because this Warhammer of the Scholar, as everyone knows, the Warhammer is the most scholarly of, of weapons. Um, this Warhammer of the Scholar has a chain lightning attack. And there's, there's one thing I'm a sucker for, stream, it's chain lightning. So it looks like we'll be using the Warhammer for a hot minute. I bought it from the marketplace because someone was selling it for five gold. And I thought, hey, I like five gold. Or I have five gold because that's nothing. And nobody had bought it because it was level nine. And, like, nobody was level nine yet. So perfect. You know, if you're skinning a beer, I've watched a few episodes of Meat Eater. So I know you're really supposed to get into it, like, elbows deep. But I, I like to go even further than that, you know, just whole body. And wrap yourself amongst the carcass like uh, the con. It's fine. Um, I think that is all my coarse leather that is needed so we can carry on in our endeavor. Ah, feels good, man. Feels good. We get all that done. Let's see what else has been new. We've been diving deep into the crazy world of Warhammer. Uh, that's actually been super fun. Uh, like, really fun. Uh, painting, building, doing all that good stuff. Right in the local game store, it's been cool. Um, looking forward to Halo Infinite, December 8th, 7th, something like that. Somewhere, somewhere around there. There's my tannery. Here, are you happy now, game? Listen, I crafted your stupid coarse leather. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, stone cutting. I got more stones to cut. 118 stones to cut, in fact. Ta-da! Novice stonemason. Reach stone cutting level 20. Level 20, more like level 30. 
I've unlocked Corrupted Fragments, Amrine Tuning Orbs, Eternal Heart, and a Stone Brick. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. But now I should be more likely to... I don't know. View leveling rewards. Level 5, second weapon slot, survivalist camp quest. Oh yeah, I still gotta do that. Tools, first bag slot, yada, yada, yada. I'll get there when I get there. Tell us a story, like improvise one. Oh, an improvised story, this man asks. Did I ever tell you? How, how long will crafting that many rocks take? Oh, dude, obviously it just takes like three seconds. Easy. So this is what my guy currently looks like. I may or may not have accidentally given him slightly greenish hair. It looked brown. It's not my fault that the lighting was so poor. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Hold on. Okay, we're good. I feel like... All right, give me a sec. Before I launch into story time, let me just make sure I got all my stuff. Uh, I got to deliver a bunch of goods, too, so let me grab all this. Wait a second. Stone blocks. Oh, yeah, I got more than enough stone blocks. Um, And then any other things? Nope, that's all good. All right, let's accomplish some tasks once and for all. Yeah, I got 10 Nightcrawler bait, too. Easy. Hmm. I mean, I, I told you guys, some of you guys this, but, uh... Yeah, we got a new pet here. I don't know if you heard, um, Dr. Professor, but, yeah, we officially have a new pet. Uh, an official... Storm Legion mascot, if you will. 2.8 coins, cool. And there's my bait as well, easy. Acquire and deliver 40 oil. I don't know if I can do that, but the other one, yes, no problem. Maybe I'll accept it and cancel it because oil is kind of hard to find. Okay, well, that's what we found out when you try to cancel missions. It just cancels it and doesn't replenish immediately. I was kind of hoping I could just skip certain From missions. The first moment, I knew you proved to be an excellent addition to <laughs> Level 10 already. Let's go. Or, or the town board outside and take progress. Getting my way around. So I got duels in first bag slot. What? Sorry, lady. Were you saying something? Anytime you fancy. Of course. Did you talk to Artificer Kim? He usually spends uh, his time regeneration near the potions. All right, listen, lady. I, I've i got bigger business to attend to. Big business and all that. Yeah, gathering speed. Why not? Time is money. And let's increase our storage as well. Never know when more storage will come in handy. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Wait a second. When can I grab this? Territory must be faction controlled. Hate to see it. Yeah, I hate to see it. Kind of surprised though. Ooh, level ten in under two hours. Not bad at all, my friends. Ah, it is very nice. A heavy to satchel. If Sylvia believes it's my it's a heavy belief, satchel. I have always. Then I shall teach you how to forge a simple blade. Take this satchel. Retrieve the iron ore from your heavy. Oh, grumble, grumble. Anyone else? I was hoping for like actual loot, but that's fine. Officer Code of the Fighter. Ooh, speaking of actual loot. This is kind of sick. I mean, it's worse than my current stuff, but is it heavier? Tier two. No, it's not really heavier. We could sell it. It's literally worse than my cloth shirt. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, 22 ingots, easy smelting. Long sword at the forge. Mm. 
Um, ooh, I can do focus and dexterity. I don't actually want uh, iron longsword, though. That's the kicker to all this. <laughs> I'd rather craft something that I'm actually interested in. But we'll see. Well, what have we here? A fine blade indeed. I did not notice it. Mm. I do too. You know who you should speak to. Albert. Uh, you know, there's a lot of running about, talking with this person, talking with that person, yada, 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 uh, in the beginning. For the, yeah, when there were the heavens and the earths. The earths? They're singular. Mm. Come on, guys, send me on my large quest, my big adventure. I'm ready. I'm keen on such There's such tasks. Intrepid, young soul. These are strange it is exactly. Hey, he's going to give me a life staff. I already, I already have one. Just, but don't tell him. Actually, it would be great if someone could tell him. Because... I, uh, I don't really need it. Alright, so I'm going to deposit all my stuff in one of these random storage bins. And then carry on towards adventure. Word on the street is it's out there. I, for one, would like to find it out. All right. Uh, oh, I have another armor case, apparently. Sorcerer Hunter Gauntlets. That sounds kind of sick. And they're even better than my leather, my leather gloves. Hmm, here's the question stream. Do I wear my officer's coat of the fighter? It's technically, it looks cooler, man, but... Oh, it's got better physical protection. But worse elemental. You know, I'm going to go for it. It's not every day that you see... Mm, actually, I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, I'm going to look at the marketplace, see if I can sell it. If I can't sell it, then I will hold on to it. Or then I will you know, use it. Can sell it. And it's gone, man. We're not going to worry about cooking right now. Maybe later. Get with this sap stuff. I look like some old sap. That's a pun. You can laugh now. Uh, 100 to a 5. Peace. And we're off. Hmm. nothing easy uh apparel right well let's see if I can even sell it right ah uh, yeah I'm assuming I can't for whatever reason Chest armor. Fine, all right. I'll wear it. I'll wear it if I have to. No, he actually looks kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, mission one is face down the moons. Oh, and set up camp. Mission two is about finding truffles. They're very different missions, but okay. Hmm. So we're carrying on. Uh, oh, I can make my first camp here. Just need some wood and some flints. I have one of those materials. That would also explain why there's so much uh, flint just lying around, or so many campsites lying around, because it seems we're not the only one who had interest in making a campsite here. Got time? Yeah, seems we got time. A little bit. Mm.
No, I... What if we actually take it legitimately and we don't just build a campsite right outside of uh, town? But we build it closer to the point. Because you never know when it'll come in handy. Yeah, let's see. Did I ever tell you guys the story of... Uh, let's see. You know, as a hero stream, you come to face a lot of villains, a lot of foes. Heck, even the occasional friend. Uh, sparring sessions can be a, a rite of passage for uh, many uh, an aspiring hero as seeks to increase his skills and abilities through his wits and his their manpower, his or her, you know, their manpower, their manpower. But uh, the world of Telus, my land, it's a uh, it's a strange one. Seems you throw a rock and you might just hit someone with abilities, not unlike, not unlike my own. Uh, and there's no shortage of colorful characters, you know, with capes and hats and crazy abilities galore. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm a novice miner. It's one of the reasons, you know, I'm seeping stone. Ooh, I think that's where I get oil. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I game as much as I do, because I find you can learn things from a variety of sources. Some choose books, uh, which, you know, I, I like I like my books every now and again, too. But, uh, even in gaming, I them like that to learn what makes a man, to test your mettle under pressure. Lord knows my times in Valorant have certainly uh, <laughs> put my... My chokiness to the test. But it's uh it's crazy. D boss, how are you, man? Hey, you know, speak of the devil as well. Once more. Man, there's uh there seems to be quite a few devils around. <laughs> oh seven, morning, welcome. You'll never guess uh what server we ended up on. I don't I don't even know where you see servers. This would actually be an important thing to look at at some point in time. Hold on, I remember it was uh, J? No, it was C. No, that's not right. That's your mark map. I'm gonna remember this. I remember it's like character. No, that's not right. Character K. Bio. Here we go. No, not bio. Mm, grumble, grumble. I guess it's not bio. Trade skills, achievements. Title? Oh, it was in my title? Did I just skip right over it? It's, as one might say, it is entirely possible. No, no. I got my, my title right there. Hold on. Game menu. View art book. Oh, I can just do that straight from here? That's not right. Store. Hold on, I'm gonna find this. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. Uh, K attributes, weapon mastery, trade skills, achievements. Because this is something I actually wanted to recommend to other people, and I didn't even know the ability. Maybe it was escape. I think it was this. Anyways, uh, spoilers. It's uh, we're playing on Pangli. Game menu tab. Game menu tab. Game menu. Yeah, bottom right. World. We're just we're playing on a world. <laughs> okay, so I'm not crazy, but yeah, we're playing we're playing on Pangli, Pang Pangli, Pang Pangliosco, Pangli, which I believe I think it was your world. I was looking at all the worlds, and uh, yours was actually one of the least populated. They were all like a thousand plus when I was trying to log in tonight. And I'm like, well, not all. Yeah, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, tens of thousands. Uh, and I'm like, you know what? Why not? We know we know a cool cat in that world. So, yeah, we're in Pangli. I was asking around, asking a few other streamers, just curious to see what world they ended up on to. And it seems everyone is scattered about through the mists of time. But, yeah, groovy. <laughs> Um, I thought it was kind of cool, though. Also, they announced that in about two weeks, they're going to change up the 
not change up, but they're going to allow players to swap servers. Yeah, right? Well, I realized I... I decided to swap servers, you know, after waiting six hours this morning trying to get into Hades. What I did not realize was I knew that there were some other streamers playing it, and I didn't. I only recognized one of the streamers, Deadly Slob, and you know he was it's not a huge streamer. So I'm like, okay, well he can't be the one drawing all these people in. So why is Haiti so freaking full? And it wasn't even the fullest server either, which is why I thought it was okay. Turns out, like Fexter Life or something, their name. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl or what have you. But anyway, it turns out they've got like 110,000 viewers. Uh, and somehow I just completely <laughs> missed out on that. That small fact. So, yeah. Mine a thousand items using a mining pick. In two hours and six minutes, I've already mined a thousand items. Is that true? I don't feel like that's true, but... Who am I to, you know, argue? Uh, yeah, I, I've got a strategy that I kind of developed during my times in the beta, the beta, and that's to mine all of the rocks because nobody mines boulders, so they're everywhere. But you can level up your mining skill really fast, and by leveling up your mining skill, you can level up stone cutting. And at a certain point in mining, you get the ability to collect gems from just mining whatever random stuff. Plus, things start appearing on your HUD. Uh, I can now gather seeping stone, which I guess you get oil from. I don't know. It just seems like it'd be something that's rather handy. And boulders are rather present everywhere. What's uh, How have you been enjoying New World, though, uh, D-Boss? If you guys haven't followed D-Boss, please. Please do. It's a rather cool cat, to be sure. Oh, look. See, on my on my HUD, I can already see uh, the berry bushes appearing. I'm not... Also, I should point out, stream, that I'm not trying to speed level, necessarily. Uh, I'm definitely not <laughs> one of those folks. But I am trying to speed level mining. A little bit. Not overly so, but, you know, I, th I thought it'd be kind of cool to see a niche in the marketplace and try to sell some gemstones before the majority of the populace catches on. Because I was able to make a lot of money in, in the beta by leveling some of these things up long before my comrades. Actually, make sure there's no iron here. Plus, once I hit level 25 stone cutting, I think I'll be able to spot iron on my HUD. Which means it'll be that much easier to gather iron. Um, oh, I was... Uh, I think I asked... How are you finding this here game? <laughs> um, New World. Also, like showcasing the usefulness of the compass, apparently there's other berries or some other harvestable nearby. I thought I gathered everything here. But by having things on the compass, these things pop up. Oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you played the first alpha a year ago. Yeah, I, I played the first alpha and then the, the second one, I guess. Whatever the one other one was like six months ago. And then I, I decided to not play earlier this month when they did like the final alpha or whatever. Because I figured, you know what? It wasn't that long ago that I played through. And I want to still make the beginning of the game kind of fun. Uh, there's only so many times a guy can play through early game. Yeah. Hey, harvesting level 30. Let's go. I've unlocked Blightroot, Life, Bloom, Shock, Bulb, Dragon, Orb. No, that's not the name. Whatever the name was. I can Basically, I can harvest all those things now because I've been harvesting everything in sight. Already level 30. And I'm not really going out. I mean, I guess I'm slightly going out of my way, but I'm not like trying to find or go to locations that are particularly rich in harvestable materials. I'm just gathering whatever I see. So extra proof that uh, you can level up gathering and all that very quickly. Speaking of which, I will be right back. Got to use the restroom. And yeah, I'm curious. I got a bunch more questions. I'm wondering, stream, what uh, what weapons are you leaning towards? What are you thinking? 
for me. Well, I will answer that question when I return.
Howdy. I just knocked over a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, including my my fancy pants light holder, which is may or may not just be a paper towel roll. That remains to be seen. Indicate a good faction. Covenant is the the best faction. Hey, okay, welcome. Okay, Whew, made it back stream. Kind of crazy. Um, I guess not really crazy. I was just saying good night and. Jeez. Almost knocked over a pitcher of water because it was sitting on top of something for some reason. But yeah, anyways, been playing New World. I think I'm gonna test out Spear and Hammer right now. Hammer is electric. Spear is, I don't know, Spear's just kind of fun. Uh, I don't have any of my Hammer abilities yet though, so we'll try it out. I don't like the comical, comically large hammer, but I feel like some of the hammers maybe have different Skins or what have you? What have you? Oh, also, this is a chain lightning hammer, which is cool. As I said earlier, sucker for anything chain lightningy. Yeah, big oops, big oof. Do I have any new titles? No. Weapon mastery skills. Uh, hammer scales with strength, whereas the spear scales with dexterity and strength. But I think dexterity is the main att attribute of the spear. So I might go great axe and hammer. Just seems kind of, I don't know, two giant weapons. Doesn't seem too fancy. Hey, level mining 25. Let's go. Iron can now be tracked. Wow, I can't believe I already got 25 hammer. That's actually kind of crazy, stream. <laughs> People are bringing <laughs> politics into it. Join Marauders if you're a Republican. It just makes you laugh. Not something <laughs> you see very often in uh, in-game chats. Hopefully, uh, the chat doesn't immediately degrade into uh, madness and nonsense, but we'll see. Not, I mean, there's a good kind of nonsense, too, but there's also pushing people's buttons kind of nonsense. Oh, okay. Yes! That's actually not a bad idea. Dude, I have, like, nightmares. Have you Have you run into that problem before? Key bindings. I'm pretty sure I bound uh, VoIP to something. Push to talk is V. Okay. Yeah, but not on stream. Um, the one that re the one that always comes to mind is freaking Fallout 76. Now, I, I'm actually a bit of a defender of that game in many cases, but whoever was the dinkus who decided that voice chat should just be turned on, and not just turned on, but turned on stream in the character creator when you're not even aware that anyone's near you. And so I was streaming it at some point, like one of the betas or whatever, and I was just chatting away, talking, and then <laughs> some guy just yells like, Dude, shut up! <laughs> I felt so bad because it had been like 10 minutes, you know? I was taking my time on this character creator, just chatting away. <laughs> I, was, I was very apologetic. And I think I want to say that there wasn't even a push to talk. Like, I don't think you could even turn it off. There was, there was something really messy about that. It was, it was rough. Right? Like, apparently, even though you have no idea you're actually, like, in the world, the character creator just puts you, yeah, in, I don't know, it's a terrible freaking decision. Ugh. <laughs> I still, you know, I still wake up in cold sweats. 
remembering that there moment. Oh, see, looks like I'm not the only one stream mining the good stuff. And by the good stuff, I just mean rocks. Yeah, so I now I'm like hyper vigilant about that. Uh, and it hasn't been an issue. I mean, it's, it's popped up in a few games, but maybe Avengers had something kind of similar. I don't know, but yeah. Ugh, terrifying. <laughs> right? I feel like, you know, there should be laws against that or something. Um, also, right, I'm totally getting, like, ridiculously distracted and not even sort of going in the right direction. Like, I think I'm going to, at this point, have to go back to the inn just to drop off all of these things I've been gathering. But it's worth it. No regrets. Because look at these trade skills, my dude. Level 33 harvesting, level 30 stone cutting, 26 mining. I just got one animal viscera. There's one thing I love to collect. It's animal viscera. Uh, I'm a fan. Okay. Oh, over encumbered. Um, here I can wear this shield. Uh, there's a fun fact: if you are ever over encumbered, you can just wear all of your heaviest gear. And bada bing, bada boom, easy clap. Yeah, so that that was rough. I mean, I don't need over. -re I don't need my games to be hyper realistic, but like. I don't, the hammer is just too big. It's just two Looney Tunes for me. I just, it's fine. You know, I just have to not look at it. <laughs> the great strategy. Um, like it, it hurts my body just seeing this guy run with it as casually as he do. Mad lad. Mad lad. Mad man. Spy hammer. <laughs> yeah, right? No, this is like a, a dry hammer. At least. He like. Quad hammer. A, a fear hammer. Need multiple people to carry this thing. Use it effectively. It's like those giant two person wood cutting saws, basically. Just does not look balanced in the slightest. It's like a comically oversized Mjolnir. Fine. You know, at least maybe in the Turnum, everybody is just very, very, very strong. 146 stone blocks. Hey, apprentice stonemason. Level 11. Read stone cutting level 40. What can I do? Can I do anything at level 40? Just like is what it is. Fun fact about stone cutting, uh, it actually becomes lighter after you cut it. I don't really know how that works. I guess maybe you're like throwing away the excess stone. All right, you know, I take it back, Stream. Maybe it is legit. You know, I'm actually gonna leave some raw animal skins. I'm learning my lesson, huh? huh? I'm leaving raw animal skins there. Just in case I need to craft them into something or I need raw animal skins for some mission or what have you. Bunch of old hard tack. I'm remembering correctly. You can do old hard tack that, and then you can even do like water is a uh, often recommended thing to put in there. Sword shed got a lot of space. Maybe I'll. That's nah, fine. I was gonna say maybe I'll keep some flint so that way I can actually uh, build camps. But I'm sure I'll find a couple flint. And let's continue on our missions. One day. One day. What do we get with harvesting? Fungi. Oh, I could have gathered the fungi. 
I don't fully understand how this is divided. I feel like it's bugged. Gatherable at zero, tracked it at 175. Magical creatures are kind of cool. Gatherable at 30, so I can do magical plants. Tracked at 45. Silkweed at 100. Is that really the next thing up? Hold on, did I read that correctly? I guess it is. That seems like a bit of a jump, but okay. Ah, look at that. Speaking of which, Earth's spine is mine. All of that gathering put to good use. Go speed leveler, go speed leveler, go. Also, just by doing quests, you'll end up uh, traveling to uh, distant lands. Far and wide and get, getting a variety of materials. So that's part of one of the reasons to do the quests in a timely fashion. Man, all, of, all my pauses, I'm almost becoming... William Shatner. Just, it's so easy to get distracted by all the shiny rocks. Six mining. 101% gathering speed increase. Gather silver and oil. Ooh, a gold. Gold's something that you'll find relatively soon as well. Dude, run around looking like a Power Ranger. No judgment. Ooh, nutmeg. I think maybe I'm getting more rare ingredients now. Uh, certain crafting materials like nutmeg are actually used in the... Crafting of certain meals and stuff like nutmeg or dill that I just got is not acquirable everywhere, so you have to go to a specific location to get it. Hey, get out of here. I was here first, bub. Oh, I tried to steal his. That's what I get, I guess. Oh, don't even think about it. Oh, what are you doing? This is my spot. Yeah, I'm mad. Yeah, I'm not actually mad, but still. Hmm. Join the resistance in Monarch's Bluff. Praise the crab. Oh, I don't know what kind of server I got myself into. Carrying on on the path. Stay the path. I did warn you, stream, that this would be a bit of a mining stream. Mine stream. Just a little bit, you know? Like Star Citizen. Kinda. What server is this? Penglai. Almost level 45. A lot of stone cutting stream. Trust me, it's all going to be worth it. Can someone carry me to a hard gem? Uh, we get a free server change, right? Uh, someone said no. We do get a server change. Hey, hey, listen. This guy, dude. This guy. I literally take a second, and he's immediately starting to grab all my herbs. Can you believe him? Find your own herbs, you weirdo. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> yeah, FPS mining, I see. Indeed, indeed. It's just, it's kind of relaxing. 
Uh, not a hoax. Cool. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I gotta say, stream. I'm pretty stoked for uh, the new, new patch. It's gonna be groovy. But in the meantime, I think uh, we'll be satisfying our mining itch that I didn't know I had with some Star Citizen. Oh, did I tell you, uh, D Boss? I don't think you were. You definitely weren't here for that. But we got a new pet. Uh, you know, here at the household, here at the Storm Forge. Uh, and he, she is a beaut. They are, he, we're gonna just say he. Uh, <laughs> well, story time. Um, we were out on the balcony, just chilling, you know, and my wife, well, my wife was out on the balcony, I should say, working, you know, doing some lettering on a beautiful, sunny Swiss afternoon when she heard a noise, uh, coming from it. From the area of our pallet couch that we have on there. Uh, exclamation mark thesuslife.com for more info on said pallet couch. And so she called me to investigate. Now I was thinking, it's like it's like the daytime. Probably not an animal. Like it's uh I wonder what it could be. It's probably just, you know, the garage down below us. Because we're on the second floor, I should point out, of this building, right? So we are not on the ground level. Um, we're, yeah, pretty good distance away from anything. Uh, so I was investigating, and I heard a noise, and I thought, whoa, that sounds kind of chuffy. Like, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that, but that sounds interesting. Uh, and so, finally, long story short, I look under the couch, and lo and behold, what do I find? But a hedgehog, just hanging out, chilling. He's made his home under our little sofa on our balcony. Now I'm confused as all else as to how a hedgehog got onto our second floor balcony. <laughs> but turns out there is uh, an adjoining wall that goes over to the kind of communal garden-ish. Like there is a garden and somehow he figured out that he can walk along this wall that's not very thick. You know, squeeze in between. I should point out also that our balcony has fence boards, right? So we squeezed in between the fence boards and decided that our sofa <laughs> would be a great home. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's just been chilling there. And I mean, I was stoked because I, you know, I like animals, but my wife likes them a little bit less so. But she's like, she feels bad because it's almost... Uh, Hibernating season. Did you know hedgehogs hibernate? I didn't know hedgehogs. I didn't know that hedgehogs hibernate. Try and say that five times fast. Uh, but yeah, apparently they totally do. And so he's going to be hibernating for the winter. So, you know, if we kick him out now, who knows if he'll find a good place. Yeah, yeah so it's it's great. So, you know, he's our, he's our new pet. His name is Hedgy. Though I also had some other great names that I liked, you know, like uh, Quilliam Shakespeare. Almighty Gavel. I need the Shockwave Path of Destiny. A wide swing that knocks enemies back four meters to create distance, dealing four uh, extra weapon damage. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So we got Hedgy. He's our pet. He's really, uh, he's cool. Even though he is a bit of a... A bit wild. Yeah, clever. <laughs> Basically saved his spot. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. No, thank you. A shockwave. Let's do that one. Uh, cannot respect or cannot even commit points while abilities are on cooldown, which I still think is kind of weird. Slam the hammer into the ground, causing a three meter radius AOE earthquake that deals 80% weapon damage and applies stun for two seconds. Not bad. This is also a good fishing spot. Yeah, it turns out uh, hedgehog we don't have hedgehogs in America. Uh, and even more so, hedgehogs are banned in five states in America. You know, they're exotic pets and quite a few states have weird rules regarding out of pets uh, and of course one of those states is my very own California also look at these guys chilling near life bloom 
unable to gather it. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. Why does he attack me when there's stationary targets all around him? That's what I want to know. Yo, weirdo. Oh, Devots, also, I saw you were testing out YouTube. How are you liking it earlier? Um, were you doing just a test stream to see, you know, how I feel about it? A lot of people are moving moving over to the YouTube side of things, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's cool. You know, we've been trying our hand at multi-streaming. And that's been a hoot and a holler, to be sure. Oh, yeah, no worries. I was just asking, uh, how are you liking YouTube? I saw that you were streaming it earlier. Oh, look at that, a life staff. I don't have one of those lying around. Spoilers, I actually, I do, and I'm going to get another life staff for completing this quest. Hooray. Well, I'm not, uh, that's actually totally okay. I'm, I don't mind. You know, this hammer's kind of grown on me. Uh, eventually, you can get weapon skins and the like. And I might just... If there's a cool hammer weapon skin. Yeah, you like it. You're not leaving Twitch, but you plan on doing at least one stream a week on YouTube. Yeah, that's a cool idea. I still... One thing that I, I really like about YouTube live streams is that you can, like, pause the stream. And there's playback, you know? You can rewind, you can double speed. That's actually the thing I like the most, the fact that you can double speed to get back to where you were. So if I'm talking or my wife asks a question, I don't have to like try to listen to two things at once. I can pause it, talk to her, and then uh, 2x the stream to get back to live. It's so nice. And it really is unfortunate that Twitch does not have those capabilities. Oh, that's the combo right there. Shockwave into knockdown. Beautiful. There's some saltpeter as well that I think this guy just grabbed. Or maybe he didn't grab it. Someone else grabbed it. It'll respawn in like I don't know, a few minutes. Maybe while I'm far farming stuff here. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's solid. Plus, it's you know, nice to just learn how things work. Uh, get used to other platforms, things like that. Figure out pros and cons and all of that. I do like Twitch's animated emotes. You know, as a multi-streamer, we have given up certain affiliate uh, benefits. But it's been cool to be able to try everything out. Um, dude, the, the reach that Facebook has is actually absolutely insane. Like... I don't know. It's weird. You know, I, I don't even look at my Facebook stats anymore because <laughs> it's kind of weird. You'll just notice like, oh, yeah, hey, your stream has been shown to 6,000 people and 5,000 people or 10,000 people or whatever. Um, just random day to day. It very much so is a lot stronger algorithmi alg algorithmically. That's a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I Yeah, it's it's tricky. We still have the Daresus TV channel, so we do have our emotes, you know, if anyone's interested in those. And we do stream on that, you know, on Sunday nights. But, uh, you know, depending on how the winds blow or if I feel particularly attached to one channel or the other, uh, I might end up committing to one. But, hey, there's my saltpeter. For the meantime, it's cool to be able to talk to people all around the world and all different platforms. For whatever reason... Facebook seems to have at least a lot of the people talking on Facebook. Seems to attract a bit more of a Spanish-speaking audience, which is cool. I said, Spider, how am I still awake? Dude, the party never stops. Um, you know, I can sleep when I'm dead. It's uh, one of my abilities. I can, um, you know, as a superhero, naturally, I can gain a little bit of uh, strength and energy from uh, electricity and the like. So what can I say, man? What can I say? Also, it's not very late here in Switzerland. <laughs> it's uh, it's 11. Got him. 
Do a 24-hour stream? I would be tempted, but I am teaching jujitsu tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, I should probably... Kids class, kids class. So I should probably be a little awake for that. But that's at, like, 5 p.m. It's going to be... I said it was going to be a late night stream. So I'm enjoying the server while I can. And I do kind of want to stream tomorrow morning. There is also that. You've been getting a bug whenever new la new launcher tries the world. Whenever new world tries the launch, what bug? Yeah, I was having I was having issues, dude, for the longest time. It took me eight hours to get in, so I'm not stopping until I get my eight hours back. No, that's that's definitely not true either. I will 100% stop before then. Also, thanks to my handy dandy compass, you know, it tells me that there's iron up here because I've increased my mining skill that much. And no one's gone and gotten this iron yet because there's very few people with that skill, likely. And this is kind of a weird place to travel. These sorts of nooks and crannies are great. What bug have you been getting? Can you just straight up not launch it at all, uh, Spider? And also, have you tried updating your uh, drivers? You know, if you have like NVIDIA, whatever, G GeForce, the GeForce, exp GeForce experience. GeForce experience, like that. Because um, I find when a lot of games launch, I often have problems with that. Oh, it has a... F uh, okay, that is kind of weird. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, man. Well, uh, we are currently streaming. We're playing on P Pangli. I think it's in the stream title. Pangli. But... Uh, Central Europe. Sorry, that took me a second to remember. I'm like, wait, where am I? Uh, Central Europe. CET. Central European server. It's cool. You know, you're free to join if you want. Or if you're looking in any area. Otherwise, there's a lot better servers. Plus, uh, there's a free server change two weeks from now or so. Which will be cool. Yeah, I'm trying to hit these boulders. Gather yeah, their sweet and succulent materials. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't gotten a single gemstone also. I've been breaking a lot of material, man. A lot of boulders. Nada. I think maybe I have to be at a certain skill level before I can start unlocking them. Not sure. I know I'm, I'm stuck there, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, well, whatever. I'm sure it'll appear eventually. Uh, let's see also. My skill, my weapon damage is 146, so I kind of want to respec. What happens if I respec completely into strength? My 146 becomes 184. My spear becomes 105. That's not bad. I get less health, but psh, who needs health? I got to go all the way down there. Which is a bit of a hike. I guess I can just cross that path. Cross that path when we come to it. I've been uh, mining a bunch of boulders because I'm trying to up my mining skill. Of course, iron and things like that are great, but... Even a little boulder, you know, all adds up. And a lot of people tend to walk straight past them. Just in the advantages that such rocks might hold. Yep. And I also get XP. Uh, anything I do, you know, any task gives me at least a little... Heck, even, you know, picking up a piece of flint... Actually, I don't know. It looks like picking up flint didn't give me any XP. But, you know, 
most tasks. Uh, especially anything that actually takes any bit of time. I might... Yeah, actually, my inventory space is almost full, so let's go back to the settlement. Process all of these... All the stone that I've been gathering. Uh, get more XP with stone cutting. And carry on with the missions. And surprisingly, stone doesn't actually weigh that much. For first in MMO history. Which was that? Five. All right, well. Just grab the rest of this. Of course, if you are over encumbered, that does... Uh, it's a lot. You notice that. I, I should say that much. But in for a penny, in for a pound. The town's just over this ridge, which is why I'm not too troubled. Just up here. And you can auto walk, which is kind of nice. Very nice. Intelligence is bumped. Um, yeah, there's a lot of interesting like ways they've done their specking into stuff. So, for example, there's certain milestones you'll get. Uh, specking into certain areas. So, you know, there's a reason to not just spread yourself too thin across all the different trees. But at uh, strength 50, you get 5% damage to melee weapon light attacks plus 10% mining speed. Kind of interested in that. 10% damage to uh, melee heavy weapon attacks plus 20 encumbrance. Uh, extra stamina damage for melee weapon light and heavy attacks. 10% de decrease in items of mind. Decrease in weight of mined items. Mining speed. Damage on stun slow to rooted enemies. Stamina regens faster when performing lighter heavy attacks. More yield when mining. And finally, light and heavy attacks with a melee weapon gain grit. 25% chance to mine an ore with a single swing. That last one sounds great. The ability to mine ore. 25% chance to mine ore with a single swing. It's pretty rad. Pretty chad. <laughs> Not sure if I can walk around the entire area. Sometimes it seems like you can walk around the backside of these houses, but you know, you end up blocked somewhere, but this seems fine. Also, fun fact, your very first house, you get a 50% discount on. So it might be worth it to actually save up for the most expensive house, because you can get it for half the price instead of just buying a cheapo house. Each their own, though. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning on doing that. But I think even the most expensive house isn't crazy expensive. But I was at the point where I could almost buy that in the alpha. Oops. You can get salt pita in cage. All right, I try to be helpful as well. Person's got <laughs> items for sale. 120 stone. How much does that level me up? Six levels. The so level 50 stone cutting. Not bad. Ta-da! I've unlocked Onyx, Jasper, Cut Emerald, and Cut Aquamarine. Ooh. So I don't know if that means that I can actually like find this stuff in the wild now or what, but you know, that's what I'll take it to mean. All right, it's time for you to head out and get some sleep. That's understandable. It is 11.19 here in Switzerland. Dude, have a good one as well. Take it easy. I'm going to play for a bit longer since I don't know what tomorrow holds. But uh, 
Yeah, take it easy, man. Thanks for swinging by. I appreciate it. And have a great rest of your night. And again, stream. Hold on. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> Close enough, right? Uh, I, I swear this is a command I have. Oh, hey, that works. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ferg. That works. I think it was all caps. Success. <laughs> um, For whatever reason, trying to copy and paste things through Streamlabs OBS. No. Through uh, Stream Elements OBS. Just doesn't work. Uh, and so it'll seem like you can copy and copy it, but then when you try and paste it, it's just the last thing that you copy to your clipboard. Clipboard. Ooh. Oh, I mean, if you're listen, if you're just gonna leave wolves lying around here, I will harvest them. All of their sweet Nantucket nectar. Look at that rock. Probably too big. Definitely too big for me to mine. Well, you know, I wished upon a star that I could have such a thing. Alas. Hey, there's a sharp wolf fang at least. Ooh, and there's uh, iron straight ahead. Somewhere up here. My iron senses are tingling. I gotta climb this. Mountainous crevasse. Uh, mountain. This mountainous mountain. Ooh, I wonder why my, uh... My campfire is red. Maybe I am too far away? Also, maybe there is... Oh, found it. Yep, I found the iron stream. <laughs> it is in. Oh, double kill. Oh, I'm surprised nobody got this iron. Oh, and there's silver over there. Wow. See, these are, this is the jackpot right here. Let's grab that. And then I can grab this silver. Looks like there was other stuff around here too, but maybe someone else got it. Jackpot. Hmm. Small quartz crystal, flawed emerald, flawed jasper. Bada bing, bada boom stream. That is truly a beautiful sight to see. Two sharp wolf fangs. Tracking it. Wow, my tracking and skin. It's kind of crazy that my tracking and skinning is only level 19. I right, thank you, sir. Novice Hunter, uh, level 20. Eh, that's not too impressive. I don't know. I thought it would be like 20s, 30s, something like that. Oh, was that that saltpeter was to be grabbed? <gasps> or did it just despawn? Saltpeter, grab, grab, grab. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I got some of it. Maybe he was being generous. Can't afford to wait and see. Yeah, this apparently is quite the place for all the loot. Most level four. 
Got him. Ooh, Musketeer's Hat of the Brigand. I don't know, man. Maybe, but I'm kind of enjoying... Maybe I'll go Hammer and Musket for now. That could be kind of fun. I thought I would enjoy the Spear, but I haven't even been using it as of late. Right, I'll leave that cave be. Uh, respawn's not available outside of 200 meters. They, uh, they patched it. Because people were using the respawn to fast travel. They would just kill themselves and then fast travel. So I guess that makes sense. Third perk. One of the greatest names, the Path of Destiny. Powerful ground strike that erupts a linear wave of energy in front of the player, dealing 120% weapon damage to all targets in his path. See, they're not that much stronger. This is just, you know, 15% extra damage. This is 80% damage, but they're stunned. The trauma of the attack causes weakened, decreasing the damage dealt from the target's attacks by 10% for 10 seconds. That's kind of cool. Extends the radius further. Um, clear out is the big swing. Fortify. It's reduced by 5% per enemy hit with the ability. Using clear out grants haste. Haste is kind of cool. I have their crowd control. They're slowed by 20% for 4 seconds. Path of De Destiny now staggers all targets in his path. Ability cooldown by five reduced by 5%. So this is... Hold on. I mean, Path of Destiny just... It sounds pretty great. In terms of just like crackling and all that. And everyone can hear it too, which is one of the great things about it. But now that I've got that, maybe I will try the spear again because I didn't even get to use the other. Where do I get hemp? There's a ton of hemp near the old man. You haven't met him yet to the quest line. Just trying to do my part. Friendly neighborhood superhero. feathers. Uh, I think I kind of need hemp also to make musket ammo. I could be wrong, but which I'm not too far away from. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll try out Warhammer and musket for a bit. I wish I could like gather something from all those musk muscles, muscles. Thank you, sir. I know earlier I got mad at the guy for stealing my stuff, but it's not really stealing, it's uh cooperative endeavors. Sort of. Also speaking of hemp. Oh, a dead dryad vine. Those uh, are good when you're crafting stuffs. I'm pretty sure I can actually see hemp also on my mini map, on my compass. Anything in the marketplace of use? Let's try weapons first. 
Warhammers, two-handed weapons, muskets. Sure, I'm curious about muskets. Extra damage to ancients. Uncritical, gain 30% haste. Oh, that's not bad. How much is it going for? Nine gold. You know what? Let's try it out. It's actually kind of a... That's, that's a decent musket. How much ammo do I have? Not a lot. I think I maybe stored some of my ammo. Yeah, how much is it going for? 160. <laughs> Uh, hefty sum. All right, let's make some musket ammo. Someone with a little swagger and something for rumors say that corrupt as it should yep. be. I accept. If Magistrate Bomb has heard about my speeches, uh, I feel like I'm sailing from Peter to pay Paul a little bit. I think, as the saying goes, because uh, the later I stay up at night to uh, stream, the less sleep I'm getting because I'm waking up in the morning also. <laughs> it's a person saying how. There are no beasts of burden on a turnum. No horse or donkey will pull your per cart. All efforts to domesticate or re-domesticate these animals have led only to injury and a lot of swearing. Um, yada, yada, yada. That's fine. No, I, I got some Red Bulls and the like. There you are, of course. If news you've shot, you're right, of course. Whether the constable Ah, uh, and I'm supposed to speak to all the faction representatives. Arcane Repository. Ooh, I could almost make a ice gauntlet. Unfortunately, I haven't been close enough to any water to do so. Weather working. Bubble it up. What can I do as level 23? I can make different kinds of leather. Hurrah! At the forge, I can make stuff. <laughs> I don't have any Azoth, though, because I haven't been doing that stuff yet. Smelter. Make iron ingots. It's usually pretty handy. Uh, and let's make some silver ingots while we're at it, too. Again, leveling up my smelting abilities. Probably should have done this point first, but eh. Gathering speed. Timber, I, I don't actually really care about timber right now. Stone cutting? Apparently I don't have very much. Not very much to cut at all. Stone brick. Oh, I had stone blocks. Then I can turn stone blocks back into stone brick. Or into stone brick. Workshops. Iron musket. Ooh. Well, I just bought a musket. Actually, that was pretty good. I got ingot. I need linen and gunpowder. Both of which I can make these days. Uh, linen comes from cloth and gunpowder comes from something or other. Arcane repository, maybe? I don't think so. No, these are like health potions and the like. Hiss up in water, that's right! Super easy ingredients.
And I was supposed to make like a, a common regeneration potion, life moat. But I think I'm not high enough level, right? If I gotta be level three, which means I need to make more mana potions, which means I need more water, which I can get from the well. Um, you can also just grab water from like any source of water. Surprise, surprise. But I like how there's kind of that, because I have a town mission that says I need to make a mana potion. But I got to be a higher level in order to make mana potions. Let's do 17 of these. Hopefully I get to level 3. Darkana. Ah, level 2. You sly dog, you. Still not high enough level. And I could just make a life staff, but I'll, I'll just, wait. you know, there's no hurry. Um, what was I doing? I was doing something here though. Oh yes, that's right. I wanted to make gunpowder. Where I come from, we used to call it fun powder. All right, let's see. Hmm. Also, you can take milk from the cow. Sherry. And I think there's another... Yep, there it is. I was going to say, I think there's another well around here. Usually there's a couple wells in town. Milk. Ugh. I remember this stuff. I actually kind of used to like it back in the day. Before it absolutely eviscerated me. We seek and shake. We covenant. Uphold the sacred duty to save God. A spark. Do anything there, but I gotta go here. Make some linen. I don't have very many fibers, but what, the fibers I do have, you know, I'll try. Energizing light ration. Ration. Travel rations are pretty good. Let's do honey instead of corn, because you can use corn to make other foods. And I got raw meat, tier two ingredients, I think. So I need tier two and tier one. Yeah. So let's make 10 of these. Ten. Uh, it pulls from your storage too, which is pretty handy. Ooh, I can make flour, pastry crush, crust. Cooking oil. I forgot I had this hat. This handy dandy hat. A little worse than my current hat, but I can sock it a gem, which is cool. I don't have any gems, but... Ah, uh, that's not true, actually. I do have a couple gems. I got some from Silver. I forgot about that. Uh, which means I could do jewel crafting, or I could just sell the gems as is. Precious uh, raw gemstones, that's what I was looking for. So he's selling opal and flawed topaz. Now the question... Refined resources. Cut gemstones. 250. I think, I think I'm going to cut these gemstones now that I have them, stream. And I can start to sell them. See, this is where you make money. Because it's too early in the game for people to be cutting gemstones, in theory. Not for me. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not right. Arcane repository, tannery. Yeah, cha-ching. Chain, chain, chains. Can't do that yet. Oh, I can actually make gear too. I forgot about that. 
What are gemstones used for? So in classic uh, MMO RPG fashion, you can suck at gemstones. Uh, so the different gemstones you collect all have different uh, attributes. So I'm looking for the gem crafter. So, oh, it's a stone cutting station. <gasps> well, it sure is a good thing I upgraded my stone cutting, isn't it? I can take this gem. In this case, I got a flawed emerald. And I can take one flawed emerald and one earth moat. And I can cut it into a flawed emerald. So the different gemstones give you different benefits, right? So if you sock it into a weapon, it gives you the top thing. And if you sock it into armor, it gives you the bottom thing. So if you sock it, so uh, in order to socket something, you got to have a socket slot. So like you'll notice my hat has that little circle right there. That means that it's got an empty gem socket uh, where I could put in a gem of my choice and that item then becomes that much better. So emeralds give you 8% damage against targets with less than 30% health. Pretty handy. Um, I'm going to craft those. Boom, a lot of XP. Uh, and I grabbed some other gemstones. Thought I grabbed some other gemstones. What happened to the other gemstones I grabbed? I got two cut flawed emeralds and I have flawed jasper. Oh, but in order to make flawed jasper, I need two air motes in order to cut this. Hmm. Emerald's actually pretty handy. Uh, I could also buy air motes from the trade shop, but they're pretty easy to get. Um, in order to get air motes, you also have to be able to harvest the proper plant, which a lot of people also can't do right now. So there is that. Um, I think I'm gonna sell these at 100 each. As handy as they are. Uh, let's see, link in chat. Extra damage against targets with 30% health. Where are we right now? We are in First Light Hamlet. Let's put it up for sale first. So resources, find resources, sell, right. I think it's here. They sell order for 120. Let's do 120. Let's sell them both. Now I wanted to... I wanted to link that in. Oh, I should have linked it in chat beforehand. Oh well. I'll just say this. Oh, there we go. Cut flood and emerald for sale at at first light hamlet. Extra damage against targets. A great gem, gem for any weapon at an even greater price. Act fast as there are only two left. Ah. 
I forgot stream. Ah, I forgot. What did that say? Cut flawed emerald gem? Cut flawed emerald. I was trying to save the whole thing. Okay, what did I say again? Um, fail at... First light. First light Hamlet. Um, extra damage. And targets with less than. That's less than, right? Less than. Do you do the less than sign over there? No, I think you do it over there. Extra damage against 30% health. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I think I said more than 30% health, which is actually false. I meant to say even greater price, so maybe I was saved. Well, when I say greater price, does that make it sound like it's more expensive? Oh my goodness, I did it again, stream. Oh, well, here we go. But now that I have a reference. I like the first sale that I did. With less than 30% health. A great, uh, an amazing gem, an awesome jad gem. Uh, a better gem, uh, 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 yeah. Hmm. Act fast as there are only two left. Bam. Oh, it didn't actually link the item, but that's okay. All right, well, I'm okay with that. And a super gem of um fear fear Calvin Alf first light Hamlet S is an emerald Mit eine super price. <laughs> yeah, all the languages. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's fine, you know. 
I just, um, you know, I just want to make uh, some cash Rumors real quick. Corruption has spread inland. Some type of breach is open enough everywhere. All right, where's where's the rest of these cats? Das ist Uber. Um, I don't I don't know what the last word is, but yeah, yeah, es ist Uber Gunstig. Cheap. No, kein Problem. No worries. Okay, where are the rest of these representatives? Oh, I think one of the guys is like way up here. Well, I tried. Would have worked better if they could have highlighted it, but that's fine. So everyone's talking about their Twitch drops. Um, change skin. I got skins. Right? I got skins? I thought I had skins. Oh, I got the new Woodsman's coat. Whoa, look at that. The Righteous Guardian. And they are looking pretty end gamey stream. Why do I have the Star Metal Soldier's breastplate? Golden Rage. Oh, that was just uh Alright, here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that cat right there. Do I have a nice helmet? There's a Plague Doctor mask. That's creepy. Also, the fact that it makes me bald. It's terrible. What's the point of having an Afro stream? Oh, I can hide my headgear. Oh, that's cool. Golden Rage helmet. Um, runic fox leggings. Well, that's not right. There we go. That looks kind of cool. Right? So there's the other Twitch cats, but I, you know, I'm perfectly happy with the way that I look. I like the way I look. Ba -da -ba. I don't know if that's quite how the song goes. Pretty sure I gotta get all the way up here. In order to do that, I gotta go all the way around. My green hair still bothers me. They better allow you the ability to change your hairstyle, but I'm not sure if that's even a thing. I feel like a lot of MMOs don't actually allow that. You look like you still got your sea legs. Well, you'll be right at home here with us. We marauder. <laughs> You look like you spied. <laughs> we marauders are a hardy bunch. I'm sure you are. See this land here is right for the taking. I'm sure you are, marauders. But listen, I'm not interested. I've already committed myself to the covenant. There's very little you can say that'll change <laughs> my mind. Look, wise hair flag. You take that back. Well, you know, we all have our flaws. Mine just happens to be moldy hair. Ah, here he is. The Syndicate is the only lifeline out of this cesspool. Ooh, level 12. I don't 12. know if I'd be here were it not. The Syndicate is the only lifeline. Yeah, I already spoke with you, Syndicate. The Syndicate, the Syndicate offers The Syndicate, the Syndicate. The pursuit of truth. I'm slowly making my way over to also deposit the shield because I don't really need the shield. Look at that. Just depositing the shield immediately makes my load Meet light. With each, sadly, in this day and age, I don't think you'll get far oh. without aligning with one of them. I get to yes, choose. You must choose. Uh, 
It has been decided. I don't remember having to choose so early on. But all right. Only speak English nine. Also, this cape leaves a little bit to be desired. How am I supposed to get through? I'm going to go all the way around. Gross. And Syndicate, if it's this hard to actually meet with you guys, I don't know if I can join your crew. Hmm. Here they are. Do I see the spark of righteousness in this one? In a I'm world in beset by darkness, we protect the spark and the light. Yep, I've decided I want to join the covenant. Hey, hold on, hold on. Complete missions for XP, coin, and faction tokens. Earn influence to determine territory control. Compete strategically against enemy factions in PvP missions. Spend it on goods. Uh, reduce costs for workshops and fast travel. Complete town missions to upgrade the settlement. Flagging for PvP gets your extra XP. Contribute to faction influence. Um, undermine the opponents. Utilize a faction war, 50v50. Utilize a variety of siege uh, weapons to get the upper hand. The attacker's objective is to claim the capture point in the heart of the fortress. The defender's objective is to fend off the attackers for 30 minutes. Yeah, the covenant. I know, I know. Territory, territory control. Flag for PvP. PvP. Select, I, I'm talking to this guy. Of course I want to join the covenant. So my choices are marauders, proud warriors who fight with honor for glory and self-improvement. Through conflict, one grows in strength and skill. That actually sounds a bit like me. Uh, syndicate, clever disciples who fight with cunning for the sake of truth and progress. The pursuit of knowledge and insight at any cost. Or covenant, that also sounds a bit like me. Or covenant, divine champions who fight with conviction for righteousness and justice. Defending the spark of hope is our, du is our sacred duty. That also sounds like me. All right, we're going covenant, boys. It has been decided. It's not permanent, you can change factions. On the bio screen once after that you can change it again every 120 As a days. New member of the covenant. I swear to protect this. So you part. shall. I see the light in your eyes, the yearning for meaning and righteousness. Oh, he Perhaps says they are very that's great. Of the covenant. And so you yes, we are wish to be tested. Day, and soon enough the corruption will become that will be All right. First PVP mission is a go. Oh, I got my three achievements. Only play solo. No voice chat doesn't duel. Oh, sure, those aren't great, but all right, I'll take them, I guess. All right, PVP enabled. We're gonna try it out, stream. Try out a little. P -p 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 I whenever you find someone doing something cool, they always run. Why do they always run? What about you, good sir? Can I interest you in a good fight? You interested in fighting the good fight? I'm not sure if I'm interested in PvPing the whole time, but we'll see. Oh, no PvPers in the chat. There's a level 8 PvPer. I saw you. Don't think I didn't see you over here scurrying around. Or was it a player? Oh, maybe it was a, or not a player, but maybe it was an NPC. 
Hmm. Yeah, probably was an NPC. Feels bad. Yeah, you can only get attack. You can only attack and get attacked if you both flag for it. Uh, what are my abilities even also? It's a, like a good thing to remember. Stun? What is this? It just does damage in front of me. Okay, that's not too bad. And this uh, knocks enemies back a little bit. But Shockwave is the one that stuns. So Shockwave's the one that I want to hit people with, but it's kind of tricky to hit people with it if they're just running. It means it restricted in landmarks. I guess this is a landmark. The hilltop, hilltop encampment. One has the money to buy orders. That I'm also surprised by. Um, do I get mounts? Let's heal up. Let's uh, eat some hard sack too while we're at it. Since that'll give us a nice heal over time. Oh, wow. A tier two camp already. All right. All right. I see you. Kind of forget how I got my tier two camp last time. A bunch of quests. What's up, fellow covenant? Someone even made a site? I don't know who made a site. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, chat's being as helpful as ever in game. Oh, this is a covenant initiation. I'm supposed to come here. Not noticing any ore. No, it's been a long time since I've broken any rocks. Feeling kind of itchy. There's one. I can just set that as my camp point. Nice. Lightning them all. Take all the spoiled rations. Supposed to like search boxes too and stuff. Okay, just kill them. Search two containers, which is pretty easy. Oh, there's a PvP here. He got me. He got me. All right. Now, death one. Now, what have we learned? Nothing. I've learned nothing. Get back here, Dane. Why? Come on. Hey, you better run, son. You better run. 
Never! All right, I got him. I got him. We got a kill. Let's go, dudes. Whew. Uh oh. All right, there's a guy who's higher level up there. We hide in the bushes. Maybe he won't see us. Oh, he saw us. He definitely saw us. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Run, run, run. I will jump off the edge, so help me. All right, I was willing to jump off the edge. He saw it. <laughs> I like how that one guy actually used voice chat, though. Uh, the guy who told me to stop chasing him. I mean, he sucker punched me. Well, the first guy was no problem. The second guy was level 16. He was a little bit too high level for me. I just need to search two containers. That's it. Um, if you're crawling, you actually don't show up. It's a lot harder to, for people to see you. Like, they have to be looking directly at you. I don't know what's the deal with all these level 17 folks. You know, if you're a low, le if you're a high level guy, you're just trawling the grounds for fresh meat. That guy in there, trawling. Give me the chance. Yes, I got it. I got it. It doesn't even matter. Oh, it doesn't even matter that he killed me, stream. <sighs> because... I was ready to die anyways. Level 16. He's not even that much higher level than me either. Grumble, grumble. Well, you know, I was, I was fine with that. Makes life a little bit crazier, a little more exciting. Your gear does get... Uh, wrecked if you die a lot and you can also take PvP missions but if you die doing the PvP mission then you lose him or then you fail them rather so that's something you kind of got to be careful of but Simon Jeffrey I did your mission love me Love me, love me. Yeah, that guy was 16. Maybe I could have taken him, but there's a there's a couple of gaps too. Now that I'm remembering it, uh, in terms of skill level, not skill level, but like weapon level. I think at level 15 is one of the major gaps where the gear you get starting from level 15 is like a hundred gear score higher. So if my stuff is 107, 249, level 15 it starts to be like 250. Minimum 350 be like I think it starts to get in the 300 350 range uh, And then like level 20 is the same thing where it goes like another hundred gear score up So if you're not at those junctures then it can be yes, kind of tricky. Yes, I had faith you would return Conviction such as yours is unshakable Destiny. Oh, my heart is filled with joy Here's to the faction see you board. Again. Join with me in sacred So I can do those to things spark. to get uh, faction rewards. No, these are PvE and these are PvP. And I can buy rewards. Uh, in the beta, they were the rewards were super good. Now, yeah, they're not bad. The educator, the top tier gear. That's where it's at.
Oh, they made it a different color. That's cool. Complete a faction mission and report back to the magistrate. Complete the missions from the faction board, then report back to the local magistrate. So those are two different missions that I have. The other ones are really just random stuff. Oh, I still have all these bars as well that I don't really need. These people are already looking for people for the Amrine excavation. Alright, well, I think stream, I think I will actually call it a night fairly soon. Seeing the time that it is right now. Um, I didn't realize it, but it's past midnight. Explains why I'm a little bit tired. Break some of these things. And then deposit all this stuff. What was give coin? I can literally give coin. Oh, it can be sent to... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can just do that randomly. It's nothing special. Also, I'm kind of curious. What is the store right now? Armor of Providence. I don't have any coins. I thought I got some for being like a pre-order guy or something. Guess not. And the housing items. Pirate housing decor. <laughs> I know somebody who would be interested in that. Yeah, so these are all just cosmetic stuff. Company crests. Weapon skins. Oh, they got some new weapon skins. The twin wolves. Count bound and non-tradable, so it's a weapon skin. That would be a shield. Hmm. Iron brimstone. That looks kind of cool. So they've got, you know, skins that you can apply to any weapon or whatnot. Ah, uh, this is another hammer. I didn't really like this hammer. But the twin wolves is kind of cool. Going heavy on the uh, wolf theme. Uh, the Asgardian kind of thing. There's also emotes. Uh, though there are base emotes too. Oh, consumables. Dyes and the like. Bundles. Not in love with any of the, uh, the skins though. My mustache looks so dumb. Yeah, so these are purely cosmetic, and you can apply them. So, like, the skin that I currently have with the golden armor, that's actually a cosmetic skin. That was a Twitch Prime drop. String Mills, defeat the Withered, pretty easy. And I decided to not use my helmet, because I thought it looks a little more unique. A lot of people are running around with the helmet. Thought I saw iron. This iron is kind of popular. Can't forget to keep mining stream. Even when we're a high level, high baller. Mining is still important. Get this boulder tool. 
I do like, though, that we got a guy still. It's unfortunate he beat us. He killed us the first time. But also, he kind of sucker punched us. You know, we got ambushed by a bunch of folks. No excuses. But still, we got our revenge. Hey, mining 35. I'm not sure if 35. Oh, silver can now be tracked. Hey, look at that. All right, that's kind of useful. I think that's hemp. That actually, that is hemp on my screen that I really need to grab. But I'm already working on this boulder. Hemp's rare. Because uh, hemp can be tracked because I'm kind of high, higher level. Go for the big one. This is worth more hemp and it's also more noticeable. Wow, this is respawning right as I was grabbing it. Nice. Hump is great for fibers, which can then be turned into uh, cloth. Apprentice Reaper. Mm, all right. Seasons don't fear the Reaper. Level 40. Get the big one. See, it's 135 XP. It's not bad at all, stream. Not bad at all. And I just deposited all my... loot to and we're almost full again. Nice. Keep on keeping on. This is again low level place for a low level folk. Oh, not quite, but it is a low level place. And... Ooh, hemp. You can also sell hemp because it's such a rare commodity uh, for probably a decent price. To me, with saltpeter. So the question then remains, what are people looking for? You know, are they looking for hemp or are they, are they looking for the refined hemp? So I always like to check and see which is going for more on that particular marketplace. Speaking of which, I got to actually make a better sickle at some point. Craft things. It's kind of fun. I can't set my spawn point there because that's not my spawn. Oh, okay. I can make a uh, fishing pole. Forgot to do that. There we go. Set that as an active tool. Now I don't have to worry about that for a bit. Um, also, I think it's kind of cool that you can spot a lot of the herbs and stuff before they, or a lot of the resources before it actually appears on your compass. So if there was hemp on that hill, it probably wouldn't appear on my compass. But, you know, if I use my eyes, I could see it. And if I wanted to run in this direction, I still might not ever know. Big swing. See, now I'm finding all the people who are low level. Level nine, there was a guy who was level 10. But also, if I'm just trying to like, pass through, you know, level up as quick as possible. Constantly being in a fight for your life isn't always the best. 
Uh, yeah, it gives you some points towards territory control. There's special PvP missions that uh, will fail if you die. That means even if you complete the PvP mission, you still have to turn it in. If you die before you can turn it in, then it fails too. But it gives you a bunch of like faction points, faction money. And also, uh, you get more XP just having PvP turned on. I mean, it's like 5% more or 10% more or something. I think 5%. So it's not crazy, but still, it, you know, it helps. Uh, and if you die, the only real penalty is you... Uh... Ooh, interesting. You lose durability on some of your stuff. It actually doesn't sound too bad, but it does add up. The tricky part about the stunts is I don't really get the opportunity to take much advantage of them. They like get up by the time I'm ready. Hey, is this corn or hemp? Oh, it's hemp. Cool. It's kind of old hemp, but still, hemp nonetheless. Forty-two, almost there. I also like that uh, different resources have different levels, so it's not like, oh yeah, level forty-five, you unlock everything. Um, you know, some stuff has different tiers. Sincer, do you mind if you got a problem with me? No, it's mine. Yeah, I see you. I see you trying to sneak in and grab it while I'm distracted with this guy attacking me. I don't think I didn't notice that. That punk. <laughs> All the underhanded moves. Also, hemp is surprisingly weighty. There's that portion. Um, oh, the other ones are kind of far out there. I might wait until I have to go to the next settlement to do those other ones. Oh, looks like I'm not the only one with iron on the on the menu. There might be iron around here. But I don't see anything on the compass. Ooh. Or a choculum. Level 175. Dream on. I will. I'm just coming up here for the pen potential uh, iron. But seeing how there's other players working their way around. I think perhaps I'm not in the right spot. Oh, that guy over there. He struck gold, so to speak. Yeah, well, I think he was hoping that... Uh, when the NPCs lock onto you, they can get like pretty hyper aggressive, and every time they hit you, you get staggered. And so when you get staggered, you drop whatever you're doing. Uh, so in that case, I was harvesting the hemp, but because the NPC was locked onto me and had a ranged attack, then he would hit me with his ranged attack, and I would. There's a bunch of iron here disconnect from the hemp so another player could potentially sneak in and grab it while I had to deal with the uh, enemy that was attacking me.
because I pulled, I had his aggro first. There it is. Found some iron too, so huzzah. Not what I wanted. I have 81, so how much is this? Okay, so it's only four iron, which isn't too shabby. This is the opposite of where I need to go. I just want to do a quick little, quick little scout. Or swing around back. But yeah, look, there's another player. Totally fine. Oh no, they they could harvest the hemp. Oh no, they they could harvest it, but uh, once somebody is already working on a material, then you can't grab it as well. And but if I start like crafting something, or if I start harvesting something and then I stop, then someone else can sweep in and grab it. So they were hoping that uh, I think that. You know, I would get knocked off the hemp by the, the NPC. Oh, I see you. Nice. So, like, in this case, I can't... I can't hit E unless I knock him away. But I can't, like, physically knock him away. Actually, this is not the place where I want to be. Just kidding. Sorry. You guys are actually level 16. I mean, I could take you down, but I don't really want to. No big advantage for me. Okay, maybe I can take him down now. Oh, he's retreating? Boo. Right before I was about to kill him. Ow. Okay. I made a mistake. Just kidding. You're the mistake, boar. But also, he almost got me, and I'm not a high enough... I almost have a high enough skinning, but not quite. Ooh, look, fun guy. I'm not sure if that's been harvested or not, but I don't think it has been. Ah, Tangle Wisp has not. It's just, it's kind of very difficult to be a gatherer when you have PvP turned on. Half the time, people are just going to be attacking you. Level 36 mining. So it's like in this instance, I can walk all the way back or I could fast travel because you're allowed to fast travel once every, I don't know, every so often. Maybe I will... Oh, ooh, more hemp, though. See, but that's the downside, is if you fast travel everywhere, well, one, there's, like, a big timer, and two, you would miss out on all the sweet stuff. I think it's another a downside to speed leveling is, like, sure, you might get to max level, but your harvesting skills are going to be pretty garbage, likely. 27... See how much this chalky rabbit is worth. Not much. All right, I'm gonna recall to the inn, which I can only do I don't know once every so often. And then before I start the stream tomorrow, I'm gonna see if I can load it up. If or I'm, I'm gonna see what the server. Just like.
What's my wait time? Yeah, I have to wait an hour before I would have to be able to come back to the inn. Long period of time. Hmm. No completed orders. Can I sell any weapons? Any clothing. Let's see, how much is... How much are they going for? They're going for four each right now. They're going for four each here. That's not bad. I could sell them for three each and make 300 gold. Uh, it was like two hours and then it, you know, crashed, didn't put me in. And then I kept spamming, clicking, and then, it, you know, instantly I was in like Q2. So I must have been right away. So that was kind of crazy. Don't be cutting. Grasping the basic facts. Facets. Refine 500 items. as a hobby. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do gunpowder. I totally forgot <laughs> this whole time. Well, I'll, I'll get to it later. The iron. Well, uh, it didn't hold my spot, but there was a major crash uh, until I think like everybody in kind of got kicked out or whatnot. Everybody who was waiting in the queue. And so I think the queue just completely restarted and maybe I got to... And it was having problems for like 20 minutes or so, I would say. Uh, so a lot of people backed out and maybe I got in right away when the queue opened back up. Or I got, you know, to take part in the queue right away. I was lucky in that instance, perhaps. Let us... How do I... What was that? What did I just do? No, I don't want to discard it. I want to... Salvage, that's right, it's S plus. We keep one 155. Deposit all the food, all the crafting materials. So like right now I could technically, maybe I will sell my fibers actually. How much gold do I have? I have 600. Yeah, let's sell the fiber stream. I mean, it's it's worth a lot, but. If I'm going to bed for the night. I can undercut the current market. Uh, and it's pretty easy to get. Soon enough, the market's gonna be flooded with fiber. Uh, let's see first, though, cloth. Not components. Wait, what did what do fibers turn into? Uh fibers 
turn into refined. Yeah, cloth. Linen, that's right, linen. Ooh, okay, so linen becomes worth eight. Ooh. Then this is worth eight, whereas... Hemp. I'm sure feathers worth. Feathers are pretty cheap. Our fibers. Then it's worth eight, while fibers are worth four. And how many fibers does it take? So by that count, it should take two fibers to make one linen. Four fibers to make one linen. Ooh. So it's better here to just sell the linen for cheaper. Way better to just sell the raw linen and let people craft it in the cloth themselves. See, these are these are the little tricks you gotta look into. Or not the linen, but the what you call it. Fibers. It's better to sell the fibers. Sell them for three ninety nine. Our resources. See how it's looking. One thing you can also do, stream, is you can buy up the competition. So if somebody's undercutting you, you can buy their stuff and then sell it as part of yours. So we'll see how well that goes. Um, I've got linens, I've got my gem cut, cutting stuff, and then anything else I want to sell? I guess I have the raw linen, which I can sell too for like six or something. Goes for eight, so let's sell it for six each. A five. It's not a ton, but you know, it's worth something. And then feathers. How about ammo? How much is. Ammo going for potions, tinctures, foods, dyes. Ah, here we go. Point five. Point five for one, or Um, raw resources, feathers, 0.5 for one arrow or 0.9 for feathers. It's weird. Doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to buy all their feathers. And then I'm going to sell it for like three. Or four. 
Yeah, let's sell it for three. I might lose money on this stream, but I'm not spending that much. It's worth the risk, I think. Because if it works, it'll work nicely. Uh, right, rawr, sorry. As you can tell, I'm getting a little tired. Just clicking on things randomly. I'm sure there's a term for this, you know, buying up the competition stock. I could sell for four, you know, I'm gonna sell for 420 because then I'm earning like four per. I'm gonna make it worth it. Scalping? I mean, yeah, it's scalping, but you know, I'm doing it slightly for the memes. I'm selling feathers, cut emerald, lemon, linen, fibers. We'll see how long it's sold for. Another thing, actually, I'm going to look at is another thing you can do is you can actually buy and sell items. So sometimes people are selling things for really stupid cheap. this Warhammer. I'm going to buy that, and then I'm going to sell it for a lot more than four gold. Sell for 50. You know, it's uh, 50 might be a little much, but you definitely could have sold it for like 20 or 30. But, you know, I just want to see what I can get away with. Uh, ch -ch -ch. One of handed weapons. Let's uh, rate it by gear score. I'm looking for items with perks. Good perks. Rapier, see this one's selling for 100. This guy knows what he's got. Ever underestimate how much somebody may want a weapon that looks really cool? 50, that's, that's fair. Is that mine? Maybe that was mine. It's one-handed weapons. Tushin. You know, on day one, it's a good time. It, Basic attacks. Ooh, this is a good one. 150. All right, that's fair. Trigger ice chain. So somebody was selling a weapon that did uh, chain damage for five. Gain 0.8% of your damage its health. Does not trigger off percent. Ooh, life stealing's great. I can sell life stealing for a lot more than 30. sell for 75 there we go it's cheaper life steals a cool ability Breaking ball penetrates uh, some of their health. 16. Buy that. Sell it for, I don't know, 50. Eh, let's sell it for, how much should I buy it for, 16? Sell for 50. Sell for 40.
Just because it's a specific ability, and unless you know your specific abilities, you might not love it as much. All right, we'll see what sells. We currently have 410. I don't remember how much money we had at the beginning of this. But we did a little bit of buying, selling, a little bit of scalping. <laughs> it's a smidge. Let's see how much your cartridge is going for as well. Two. One. One twenty three at two. Yeah, all right. Well, I can't really. I can make cartridges and sell them, make a good amount of money, but other than that. Buy them and sell them for 150. I'm not really making much, but. Sell them for a 190. There we go. It's cheaper. It's everything I'm selling. Hmm. Maybe actually I will make my... Am I selling all my linen? I think I am selling all my linen. I was debating about whether or not I wanted to make some more iron cartridges and sell them. I know, I know. I'm, I'm going to bed. It's just... It's tempted, stream. It's tempted. Uh, look around, see what needs to be sold. I think the workshop is the place where you make... Not positive, but kind of certain-ish. Okay, that's the last thing I'm going to do for tonight's stream. I just want to see. I, I think I've got all my linen up for sale as a bit of an experiment, so might not be able to sell any iron cartridges right now. But. Okay, so I need... Oh, gunpowder. That was it. And I make gunpowder. I need charcoal for gunpowder. In order to make charcoal. That's the thing I always forget, stream. I don't remember how much I'm selling linen for, but I'm pretty sure it's like a lot. That, that. A lot of gunpowder. Still need linen. <laughs> Feels bad. But that's fine because cartridges are selling for a surprisingly low amount.
Hmm. It's weird because you can technically sell cartridges or you can buy cartridges for less than the materials it takes to make them. Yes, yeah, stop your grinning and drop your linen. No, it's a li I guess it makes sense because people are finding a lot of iron cartridges and they want to sell them. But they're technically going for cheaper than the ingredients it takes to make them yourself. But you can also make a crazy amount if you find the ingredients. And then you can sell them in bulk. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. If it's worth it to sell cartridges. Or to just buy them. And then sell the ingredients. I feel like it might actually be cheaper or better to... S but I'm not sure how much... How many cartridges you can make with the same amount of ingredients that you'd be selling. Oh, well, we'll see. All right, stream. Well, I think on that note, that's where I'm going to call it for today. We uh, we made some decent progress in the past four hours. Quite decent indeed. Trade skills, 36. You know, 43 harvesting. That's kind of crazy, actually. At uh, 45, I'll be able to track magical plants. Huzzah! Um... So in two levels, and then in mining, uh, 45, I can track oil, and I can mine gold. And 50, I can mine alchemy stone. See, 50 is the big one. And then you get the big ones at, you know, like 100, 105, 110, right? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. So I'm actually really close to getting some big stuff. Ooh, fishing's a whole thing, too. Broad hotspots. Interesting. I didn't realize fishing was its own skill. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably showcase some of that tomorrow. Weaving is a whole thing. Jewel crafting is kind of fun too, but you know, you can make a decent amount just selling jewels. I could get into weaponsmithing a bit, but right now I'm all right. Also because, you know, early weapons, everyone's just finding random stuff. Remind me, I'm just digging. All right. We'll see if I make any money tomorrow morning. We are currently at $3.99. Uh, so anything, well, it's not profit, but, you know, it's it's cash. But remember, stream, to be strong and courageous. Uh, I think this is Captain Cloud signing out for tonight. Hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow morning. And uh, for no more New World.